know you rascals with the bellies fun pie. And listen to this tale of old with the heroes both be high. Hey, the master broken silver, and an adept of disguise. With the heroes is when he's sick and fast, the husband wants to lie. He's slain many a villain, be a dragon, pop or wizard. He's looted and chest of all the best of treasures he could find. He's the only But he never found a true love song And it made him sad and tired And was there while he was walking And he was shot as he was singing And I made a fan from over there With a bow and she was mine She apologized profusely Said she thought he was a dwarf And she carried him to the nearest dip But she nursed him back to life Well, it fell him all directly And she married him that night So the half they have They got me up for a song about their time the grass is green, the air is clean, the sweet last by my side. The rain so far, they look in so I squeeze her up behind. Hey, the world is full of monsters, vile, being here at the side. So lift your rose, the rose and toast to the drunken friends of mine.
Hello friends, and welcome to High Rollers, the regular campaign, I guess I have to call it now. Yeah. Uh, here on the Yogscast Twitch, I am your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes, as always. And joining me this week, we have Kim. Hello. We have our guest Tom Hazelback. Hello. Hello. We have Katie. Yes. Hello. And we have Chris <laughs> Trotimus. Of hat films. Uh, I don't know why you always say of hat yeah, films. Yeah, of hat films. I don't Every know, time. just because that's your part. Like, you don't exist as an individual. Mm. You are part of I a triumvirate that something. is split up. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, that's it. Uh, I know we said we might have Smith. We don't, as you can obviously see. Yeah. Um, maybe next time. We, we'll, it'll no, be a surprise. Don't say that. <laughs> We don't Maybe have any idea. Maybe at some point in the future. No. 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 <laughs> Smith Literally is not. No. Smith is not coming on. He's not. He's not coming on. If you want him, you tell him He's that. Son yeah. of a bitch, we, we have nothing to do with it. Basically, if we, if if you want a guest, right, you tell on. them. Carry on. He's uh, not coming on. <laughs> He's dead. I'm gonna throw dice at you. Uh, welcome back <laughs> to our regular <laughs> Dungeons happened? and Dragons game. I don't know. I I, I just think you speak, I just spoke like words out of my mouth. Yeah, me. Really I'm seeing it all over the social media. Yeah, they're like, when is Smith gonna be on? And I'm like, next week. <laughs> Raynard's still here. Oh. But you see, the thing is, is, that means they'll come next week and definitely watch. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Until they see my that's face. That's what again. I do, Chris. Try. I'm a dungeon master. I lie. He's a professional liar. <laughs> I'm a professional. Welcome, anyway, uh, to High Rolls. This is our regular Dungeons Dragon game. Um, the title Chris, is, uh, Trot, what are you doing? The title is weird. The it's title is weird. Yeah, it's the Xylus. Oh, Steve, can you please... Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, so we're not Xylus and friends. We are, in fact, oh. the High Rollers. Um, this is our regular campaign that we run every Sunday at uh, 5pm BST. If you're joining us from our Uncharted Territory stream and you've never seen this before, uh, these are all the players. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that guy isn't Matthew Toffolo, who played no. Sir Crumsby. This is no, Tom Hazel, uh, our special guest Sorry. friend. This is Tom. Oh, this is Tom. Ongoing special guest. Um, yeah. Chris Yunu played Six Frisky Flames, and in this campaign he plays Cam Buckland. Correct. A very special cleric oh, of Avenger. Thank you. I use the word special as in, special. like, you know... The other special. Yeah. The other special. The other kind of special. Like a very, <laughs> very sweet boy. Um, <laughs> we have Katie, who plays Fear in Uncharted Territory. But is in this case playing Princess Elora Galanadel of the Moonspire. Aza Munaf. Elven druid extraordinaire um, and mother tank and protector of the group who would probably be dead four times over if it wasn't for her. Tom <laughs> Hazel, our guest, plays Reynard Ferrahorn, a human ranger, expert adventurer um, and general showman. Mm. <laughs> He's kind of, you know, wants to be adventurer, yeah. want to be adventurer. And then finally we have Kim, who normally play, who in Uncharted Territory plays the flirtatious Kaylard Ragehorn, uh, but in this plays a very different character, <laughs> plays the quiet but quite bloodthirsty tiefling monk, Juto, insert other name I can't pronounce. She's not bloodthirsty. She's pretty bloodthirsty. She likes, she I doesn't mean, she's look quite violent. For it. She just like, if something threatens her or a friend, she's If someone starts him. a fight, she'll finish it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. She's not uh, the one starting the fight though. But uh, troubled past um, and general angst teenager <gasps> of the party. Emo Tiefling. Emo Tiefling. Edge Lord. Um, yeah. Those of you who are regular high rollers know all about these fuckers, so uh, wow. I don't need to explain that to you anyway. <laughs> you had um, a good weekend, Mark. I did. I'm just like I, I did until 5 p.m. I just I think I've been thrown off by like the the the, the yelling about Smith. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to not do that. Next um, week we've got um, we've I've got, got a rock. George Clooney coming George next week. George Clooney and Aww. the Rock Johnson. Rock and Diesel. <laughs> yeah, sure. The Rock uh, heard what about his mentions in the yeah the, the, yeah, the yeah, campaign before. He's, he's going to come play a giant bird. Yeah. Um, an Aracoka. Ah! Uh, no, so. A couple of things to talk about. The yeah. first one being, if you've not seen it yet, our brand new mini series as part of a sponsor thing with Wizards of the Coast. It's part of their brand new module called The Tomb of Annihilation. Um, it's called Uncharted Territory and it airs every Friday here on the Yogscast Twitch, but also on the D&D Twitch at the exact same time using the power of technology. Um, and that is uh, 8 p.m. BST, 12 p.m. PDT, if nice. you're in the, the Americas. And yes, it will be on Yogg's Live. As many of you have harassed Katie by asking on Twitter, <laughs> it will be on Yogg's Live at Everything some point we do, this week. Everything we do it goes on Yogg's Live. It's on Yogg's Live. At some point, at some point, because Sam's a very busy man. So yes. it will go on there at some point, just keep an eye out. I have tweeted today a link to, there's actually a link to our playlist on our Twitter, at High Rollers D&D, which will take you straight to our pl High Rollers playlist. We will be creating a new one for Uncharted Territory, but the existing 50 episodes of our normal 
campaign is up there already. And the other thing to mention on that is don't forget to watch all of the other awesome streams from the street, uh, from the Tomb of Annihilation kind of thing that's going on with Wizards. You've got Maze Arcana do one, Miss Clicks, Girls Got Glory, um, Dragon Friends as well, who are a really funny bunch of Aussie comedians um, that we got to meet out in um, in Seattle and who were really good guys. So make sure you watch those as well. Katie, do you want to talk a little bit about the survey we're sending around? Survey, yes. Survey. So um, on our Twitter, you might have seen as well, we are basically doing a survey for live High Rollers events. So the thing that we did at Comic-Con this year, at MCM Comic-Con, we did a live High Rollers show for an audience there. And for now, it's going to be UK-based. So basically, it's gathering a bit of information about where you want it to be, how much you're willing to pay, um, what you would like to see, yeah. any additional things you want to let us know about these events, whether you want merch. So it's a very basic survey, very quick. Um, it's on our Twitter at the moment. I don't know if anyone can pop it in chat as well, if there's any mods in chat. But basically, yeah, if you could fill that out, it just helps us to know how viable it is, yeah. which can help us make it happen also, for you guys. Also, for it to actually happen, we need loads of people to fill out the survey to show interest. interest. Yeah, so Merch Mike needs, needs a that. certain threshold of people, so the more people that can... And don't just fill it out and say, oh, I'll come if you don't... Like, if you're going to come, say you're going to come. If you couldn't come to it, say you can't come to it. You know, we need to know kind of exact numbers and things yeah. like that or get a very good estimate of what we can expect. Otherwise, we can't do it because it is quite bring... costly to hit higher venues and things like that. Exactly. It's, it's going to break out of conventions as well, potentially. So it could be literally just a high rollers. Yeah, it's it's just like a high rollers thing, thing. Evening thing. Not tacked onto a convention. Exactly. So it'd be open to everybody as well. You won't need a convention ticket and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So Boy. please do check that out. Thank you, Katie, for doing all of that on social media. Um, little quick recap on this one because last week, the main events that took place, you returned to Talos mm -hmm. and you found out a few facts, uh, a few things that have been going on in your absence at Velderban. You found out that the city had actually been attacked, or the city walls had been attacked, and the citizens waiting to get inside had been attacked, um, likely by this kind of bandit called the Burning King, who is working with the Broken Sky. You know about that. Uh, you got back inside, you met up with Reynard and Cassandra. Reynard was in uh, deep in his cups in lament over his failures at Velderban, um, whilst, uh, you know, and was trying to Sounds deal with true. that. Uh, Korak, you found out, has basically, whilst he's never held an official title within the city, whatever kind of ceremonial power he had has basically been reduced to nothing now. He is effectively nothing but a figurehead, like the Queen of England, uh, who goes around and makes appearances but doesn't really do a lot. She could probably get you executed, though. She probably could, if she really wanted to. Uh, Korak probably could just execute you himself. <laughs> I reckon the Queen could do it. Yeah, probably. She's um, tough as nails. Yeah. Super tough. Uh, especially with all the gin in her system. It's just drunken rage. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so Korak's been going around making appearances, but he seems to be conflicted. He kind of appreciates the freedom of his new position, but also is no longer really able to help the politics of the city. The council are taking much stronger measures. There is now a curfew enacted within Talisman, yep. um, and also there being much more that they've kind of got a travel ban on who comes in and out of the city. Um, anybody who has fleeting connections to the Broken Sky that isn't known to them will obviously be arrested and, uh, you know, probed for information. Um, you know that a few of the council members are still quite loyal to Korak. Um, Finney, one of your friends from early on, back in Torfield, uh, who came to the city and has made a name for himself, has actually managed to get himself a position on the council. Dermot is now leading up most of the military matters, but is torn between his duty to the city and his friendship with you guys. And so there was a lot of kind of tense political manoeuvrings going on. You guys have also been kicked out of your suite at Champion's Hold and are now kind of taking residence in Finney's Tavern uh, whilst he is not using it. It's kind of a parallel to Uncharted Territories. We got kicked out of the society mm. and here Nobody we got kicked out. Us. No one wants us. It's because you guys are all fucking a-holes. <laughs> I'm sure you don't mix um, up your notes for both. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Very intentional. Uh, so you guys have been uh, kicked out. Um, you actually have started working with Cassandra on a thing she, you promised that you'd help her with. Um, she agreed to help you at Velderman if you would help her locate some missing children that she believes to be lightborn. Um, following some leads, she believes that there is something there was something suspicious about a florist, so kind of herb meat pet store shop um, in Talis Val, and upon investigating it, uh, finding that the owners were a little bit suspicious and behaving strangely, you discovered that they were actually snake people and that they have uh, attacked snake you. People. And we had to leave. Snake people look like people, act like snakes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, we actually left things in the middle of a combat, oh in the middle of initiative. Yes. So we are jumping straight back into the battle mm. with uh, hot diggity. 
Mr. Reynard Ferrohorn, oh, who is oh. currently <laughs> prone alongside yeah, one of the humans, the more human snake people, whilst a man with snake arms is currently also nipping at him from the stairs. Also prone? No, yeah, the snake no, man is not prone. He's that's the Reynard attempted to leap off the snake man off yeah, his head, um, off and his head. and like clothesline the um, <laughs> the human, the guy who was pretending to be one of the store owners. Um, but the two of them landed prone on the stairs instead. And we've just been punching each other. Yeah, in they're the basically head. like literally punching, smashing each other against the stone steps, that okay. sort of thing. Well, in the week, I mean six seconds that um, we've had between turns. Yes. <laughs> I've noticed I've got healing potions and I'm over halfway through my health. Okay. So how much does a healing potion heal? So a standard healing potion is 2d4 plus 2. That's pretty good. So that's 10 2D4, maximum. Oh, 10 max. Oh. Yeah. Screw it's best if you roll really well. And it costs an action to consume one. Yeah, so it uses your action. Oh, really? Um, Indeed. So I'm prone at the moment. Yes. Am I under this guy or am I just... Um, no, I think it was just, just the way it I landed. think it's just like you're kind of like scrapping with each we other, like rolling each other over and stuff like that. Okay, could I... So it would be an action to unprone myself or is it... A, uh, it would be half your movement to stand up from prone. I think... And they'll get attacked for opportunity as well. If you try and move away, yes. If you stay where you are, they're not. Though, I do have, what is it, join, no, escape the horde? Or is it? I, you tell me, friend. I think escape the horde. Is that the one which gives you, um, you don't, you get bonuses, they have disadvantage, I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an uh, advantage when I've got like a load of people around me. Mm -hmm. um, so in that case, I'm gonna stand up and just get hey, out Pity, of here. can you stand up Reynard for me? And where would you like to go? There is an upstairs with like a, almost like an attic bedroom. Um, oh, I don't want to be too far away from everyone else because everyone's like... Dealing. Everyone's in the main room. You can hear fighting going on in the main room. There's a giant snake-like abomination. Oh, Chris Trot is going to fix the camera for us. I can't find where... Oh yeah, giant killer. When a large or larger creature within five feet of you hits or misses an attack, I can use a reaction. These are medium creatures. Oops. <coughs> Escape Lord or whatever, yeah. Just yeah. Hit them. Opportunity attacks made with disadvantage. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to get up and half do a backflip over the snake hands. Oh yeah, obviously a backflip over this guy. So over here. Yeah. And fifteen and then, feet away. So one, two. I want to go into the door and just right, sort of well, the, block that. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to give me an acrobatics check. Do you want? Oh, I'm backflapping. Backflapping. Yeah. Backflapping. Back yeah. yeah. back 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 over this. What well, you said? <laughs> I backflip over the snake. You man. said backflip, and I mm. stupidly followed that. Well, one. that's the problem, isn't it? Fourteen plus my acrobatics. Yep. Eighteen. Eighteen. You perform a quite impressive backflip, <laughs> one to rival Olympic gymnasts, you kind of just do a standing <laughs> um, <laughs> The figure does not get any attacks, it kind of, the snake hands just snap at the air nice. as you launch over it quite freely. However, one thing you did forget is your crossbow Wilhelm was at the bottom of the no. stairs. I remember describing that uh, oh, quite accurately. Oh, he loves it when this happens. <laughs> Oh, you forgot you to see Wilhelm. Yeah, but... Just be on the snake man. <laughs> you mentioned that six seconds, I mean a week ago. <sighs> I think my sword is actually in here. Yeah. Your sword is yeah. in there. Yeah. Uh, it was flying its back way back to you though. I think it's just behind this malice. Oh yeah, here. no it is. It right. was flying back. So can I call it back and throw it again? Because I think it's... Uh, there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to. I think it can only move 25 feet around though. So no, you could call it back to you and like take it into your hand. So you're not unarmed. I think I'm just going to have to call it back. To okay. Woo, Axel! And it flies back into your hands. It's into my hands. So I've um, got a weapon at least. You have a weapon at least. And the snake hands man turns on you like, ah, you're quite quick for a human, but not fast enough for my snake hands. The great Lord Seth shall consume your flesh. Who's Seth? And the little snakes just hiss. Oh, do little wee it's like, literally, he has like arms of giant snakes so doing like this. a wacky waving arm... A wacky waving arm, inflatable arm man, yes. Okay. But with snakes. But with snakes. <laughs> I think that's all I can do, really. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna... You wanna do something, you could do something cool? Can you think of anything cool you could do? Well, I can't really attack this guy, he's a couple tiles away from me. Uh, is there anything around you that you think, like, in the room that you wanna try and use? Like, uh, imagine that this is like a back room of a store, so you've kind of got oh, things like... Um, Are there any, you know, uh, like, potions laying around, or any, like, filled flasks? No filled flasks, I'm afraid, no. It looks more like it's kind of like somebody's um, living quarters. Throw some 
Oh, uh, is there a bed or like a like a? Yeah, there was actually a bed. I think I haven't got the miniature, but it was um, right next to the Manison currently. I want to take the the, the duvet or the blanket or whatever, mm-hmm. and just toss it at the guy and just co- cover him in it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you just pick up the blanket and then you're like, yeah, and yeah. you throw it. At him. Okay. And I want to cover him in it. And sort no, you don't think wrong. I'm going to do a deck saving three. Okay. Uh, the the snake man just watches this kind of slow moving duvet, and one of the snake hands just whips it, grabs it in his mouth, and he throws it to the side. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, that's my turn. Does then. he? Yeah. I'm not playing games, boy. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sleep. <laughs> very nice. And that is the end of your go, Elora. Oh, um... You're currently in Earth Elemental form. Ignore the Air Elemental miniature. I don't have an Earth one yet. I'm working on it. You mean that big miniature? No, no, no you're right a tiny size, one. Though. It's not the right size. That it's gets the... It looks like Groot. Yeah. It's not the right size. <laughs> um, I'm going to smash the big guy that's next so to So the, the creature you are currently facing off is a enormous, thick-bodied snake um, with the head of sort of like almost like a humanoid torso and arms, but with a snake's head and then a large snake-like body. I'm assuming that by your face, 17. the first one missed. Yeah, the first one missed. 17? Yeah. 17 against the abomination is a hit. Yay! Oh. I did something. Abomination. <laughs> Abominate. Oh, and well. 17 damage. 17 points of damage. Uh, you kind of, your big elemental fist just slams into the creature's side and you can hear, you kind of, it impacts into the fleshy, snake-like muscle that rides beneath its scales. Um, so you just punch it with one of these heavy slams um, and it turns on you hissing uh, as it does so. Let me consult the initiatives. The Malisons, Cam Buckland, you currently face off against a human body with human arms, but a snake's head, like yes. a big cobra. Ah, he hisses at you. Wisdom saving mm-hmm. throw, please. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yes, you have your thing going spiritual on. Spiritual you... guardians. Oh, spiritual guardians. And a flitting little tiny cam. Cherubs. Uh, Cherubs. That's a nine, so I'm assuming that fails. That's a fail. Okay. So, 3d8 radiant damage. Oh, sorry, I have advantage on spells and spell-like oh, saving effects. goody. That, however, is going to be a 15. My DC is 15. So that is a success. Bollocks. Does he take half damage? He takes half. Still takes half, so... Correct. Almost forgot that they have their magic resistance. Alright. 12. 12 12 points? Yeah, just 12. Just 12. Radiant. Which I know snakes are really weak to. They are not weak to. Like doubly weak to. Nope. So you may as well double the damage. (laughs) That's not gonna fly. Uh, he kind of like strides back, and you tiny can see like cherubs um, with the, tiny daggers. Like, he has kind of these all these burn marks, like pock marks, all over his flesh, and he's in agony. Um, but he just manages a couple of last minute slashes. But you think he's probably on his on his last limbs. Um, he will attempt to hit you with his scimitar, and then he will attempt to bite you. Okay. Um, so the first one with the scimitar that is an eleven. That's gonna miss. Yep. The bite, however, he then leans in. That is gonna be a twenty-four. Uh, just hits. Okay. <laughs> You're going to take uh, 11, 14 points of damage as he kind of sinks his like venomous fangs into your shoulder um, after swiping it. You can see like the strength in his body is beginning to fail and fade. Snake arms comes to Reynard Ferrohorn. Yes. Yes. Try it. Uh, two snake, <laughs> two snake heads attempt to bite you um, as he. Ah, whoop, no. This guy. He's dead. <laughs> Four he fell off. No. He's dead. Uh, first snake arm, seven. You kind of dodge to the side, swiping at it with your uh, your enchanted scimitar. Oh. The second one, also a seven. Two twos in a row. Uh, you just kind of dodge to the Whoa. side, um, you know, eager to stay out of reach of these venomous, venomous snake Very heads. Eager. Uh, that's the mouse. Let's go. Cassandra will turn on the larger beast, <clears throat> sensing a greater threat. Um, how injured are you actually, Cam? I'm looking pretty fucked up. Okay, so she will not move then. She will instead cast a spell. I'm breathing heavily. I'm going 12. Go, my little cherubs. Go. 14 HP, and she places a hand on your shoulder. Thanks, guys. 14. Answers a prayer to Bahamut. 14. 14. Bahamut. Um, And then she takes up a defensive stance next to you. Uh, Just guess. I didn't need it, but thanks. You look like you needed it, she says. I'll be fine. Uh, 
Uh, right, the two humanoid figures. One with a crossbow. Well, her exit is somewhat blocked. She's going to hop over here. She literally leaps over the counter and then goes to leave. What? Spots Reynard. Um, Back of the freaks head. out. She looks at you, Reynard. Um, and as you kind of turn around, this uh, new threat coming in, she locks eyes with you. Um, I wink. She says, Haha, you wink, and then she grins, kind of snake like, almost like fangs protruding. Um, and she says, I suggest you drop your weapon and lay on the ground now. Wisdom saving throw, please. Right. Come on, Reynard. Oh. Natural 20! You yeah. feel this kind of suggestion. I say to her, I suggest you drop your weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And she just kind of like rolls <laughs> her eyes, do that? and then she pulls up her bow. Basically, oh. but she doesn't have time to shoot, but she does that. Uh, does she, thing. Do, do you do the? Yeah, I activated my mirror mind. <laughs> mirror, mirror mind. <laughs> <laughs> there is no special ability. You just say that to her. Yeah. Like, <laughs> your charm. <laughs> um, the other one, seeing you kind of do that, just turns around and just goes. Fool and pulls back on his short bow, which he picks up. That's not very. Actually, witchy. no, he's going to pick up Wilhelm. He better not. Yeah, he does. He picks up Wilhelm. Is he attuned to it though? Huh? Oh. Uh, it's not a magic. Well, he doesn't get the magical bonus. Fair by my own. Uh, magic magic weapon, actually. I don't think you need to be unless it's this special one. Properties. I'm just bringing it up. Huh? Okay. No, they go on the top of the stairs. One, yeah. He picks up Wilhelm and uh, will attempt to shoot you with it. Is there any advantage to hunt? Uh, sorry? Is there any height advantage? Not really, depends. Like in situations I might give it, like if there was a good reason for you to, because you're kind of in a melee, I'm not going to give him too much yeah, advantage. Yeah. He still hits at 21, I believe, though. Yes. Damn, Wilhelm. What a. What Your a own weapon. It's going to be. Uh, two, three. Do you want, do you want 12. Nope, I don't need him. I know. 12 damage. 12 points of damage. And then he kind of looks at the device strangely, kind of sees that <clears throat> there is a katunk, what? loads another bolt, and shoots at you. That is going to be a 16, 17. That hits. You're going to take Ooh. 10, 13. <laughs> 25 damage. <laughs> yeah, with your own. Oh, thank you. you can, he looks down, he's like, ah, you have a nice weapon, human. I know. I may keep it. Turns out all the power is in the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as he just grins malevolently. Uh, let's see, who is next? God, you guys had really low initiatives. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Abomination. <laughs> the Abomination, sensing he's being flanked by... Hmm? Ah, Wisdom saving throw. Oh, he also yeah, has magic resistance. So I have advantage. That is going to be a 19. Half damage. Passes. Half damage, please, as the little cherubs prick away. Just need one. Panks. Panks. 14. So halved, 7. Did you half the other one? Yeah, I did. Yeah, did. Uh, 68. So, sensing it's being flanked by these two creatures, the Earth Elemental and Juto coming up behind it, really the Abomination, it having tried to wrap you up a few times, gives oh, up yeah. on trying to do that to you, Damn. and instead will attempt to constrict Juto uh, and tries to oh, wrap its serpentine true. body around you like Jafar in Aladdin. Um, <laughs> nice example. 20 to hit. <laughs> what do you think? I'm assuming that is a yes. You are currently grappled on your turn. You can attempt to escape. Um, until this grapple ends, you are also restrained. So you are currently like, basically it tightens its thick snake-like body and begins crushing you. Um, and you get crushed for six. Ten points of damage as it squeezes. Can I hellish rebuke? Uh, you may. Would that make him drop me? No. Oddly enough, because of his snake-like form, he can kind of like still dodge his upper torso. It does not it prevent him. It won't burn him. his lower torso that's currently wrapped around me? You kind of like launch the fire out of you? No, that's not. It's kind of like you're kind of launching the fire out from you, and he kind of can... He has the ability to dodge, I'm afraid. You can still do it, though. You can still do it, which Some I'm damage. assuming you are. Because yeah. it still deals half yeah, damage. Okay, he has advantage because it's a spell-like effect. That's going to be 20, so it's going to take half damage from the Hellish Rebuke. 3d10 for you, I believe. Yeah, yeah. That should be good. On Tieflings, she casts it technically at a high level. Uh, it's I've only got two. a 9 and a. 1 and a 3. 4, 13. 13, so half that. Um, I'll round up, I'll say 7. That's nice. 
So um, kind. So you kind of launch this flame out of it. And it does scorch the kind of scales around, but it manages to kind of move its like torso out of the way. Um, as I hisses down, nah, you little demon, you'll pay for that. Um, and he's going to attempt to hit you with a scimitar and a bite. Um, because you are restrained, he has advantage. So with the scimitar first, 16 or 16. That's going to be a 23. Mm-hmm. You're going to take 8, 12 points of damage. And then he attempts to bite you. So 15, 22. Um, that's 3, 6 poison. Are we all going to die? Yeah. You don't have any resistance to poison, do you? Oh, I do. Oh, you do have yeah. resistance to poison. Right, yeah. I'll roll the poison down separately. So you're going to take... So you take six poison, that's already halved. And well, then you take another ten regular bite p- piercing damage as it bites into you. So it's Bloody 16 hell. total. Um, so it constricts and then, Duto and then cuts uh, ten physical. So it's 16 from the last attack. Crikey. So it kind of like crushes you up, turning its back on the earth elemental, and then just squeezes, cuts you with the scimitar, and bites its kind of venomous fangs into your body, um, and you breathe in pain. Uh, after that, it is your go. Has he touched my chinchilla? Uh, you're, you don't know. Your chinchilla was in your pocket, and he is crushing you. Uh, uh, oh. If he's killed my chinchilla, I will. Are you rolling you for not. chinchilla death? You better not. <laughs> Is this legit happening right now? You're just gonna kill off my chinchilla. Yeah. The Can't gods do. <laughs> yeah. Can the ugly chinchilla? Yeah. You're currently being grappled. As you are restrained, your speed is zero. You can't benefit from any bonuses to well, speed. So evil. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and your attacks have disadvantage. And you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. As your movement, you can attempt to escape. Oh, so you can attack. Okay, so you can make an acrobatics or an athletics check. You try and wiggle your way out. Eight. On, what did you attempt? Acrobatics. Acrobatics. You try to like squeeze out, but you just can't pull yourself through. This like tight muscle is just crushing you. Can I take a greater healing potion? Yes, you can still take actions. Greater healing potion is your action. (laughs) Squeeze, just pull it out. Yeah, it's literally (laughs) like, she kind of like reaches in. (laughs) And like sucks it down. With a straw. How much I mean, that is there be? anything I can use to get out, like evasion or? Uh, evasion's more for like it's almost like hero dodge out of the way of an yeah. explosion, like diving for cover. Um, unless you have an ability that lets you sort of do things like escape grapples, or I'd or say with a bonus action you could try again because you can dash. Or step of the wind or anything like that. I'd say if you spend the key point, you could try and escape because it's your move action you're really trying to use to get out of it. I'd yeah, it say. says I can spend one key point to disengage or dash. Mm-hmm. So. Well, like, disengage you can't do if you're grappled. Yeah, okay. So you can, I'd say you can attempt to escape if you spend a key point. Um, but if I do that, I can't take a healing potion, right? No, that's a bonus action. You can still take a healing potion. Okay, so I would like to... Take a greater? Uh, take a greater and okay, mark uh, it off. try to escape. So it's two, three, six, nine, plus four. Thirteen HP back. What's eighteen plus thirteen? Uh, 2031. Cool. Maths. I know I got some maths wrong in the last episode because everybody told me. <laughs> but I'm a bit more with it. I'm not as tired today. They told you when you did something wrong. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to try and escape again? Can I try and escape again? Yep. So you spend a key point to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it's an acrobatics or athletics check to try and wiggle free. <laughs> You're like. And you kind of try and use this kind of, you kind of try and kick off of its muscular flesh, but it just tightens around you. Um, you feel it, it, uh, and it just kind of. These are like brand new dice as well. They're, they're going out. It just, they're it gone. just hisses, right. just like, no wriggle as much as you would like. I shall see you die. So was this big dude or snake? This was the big guy. So the big guy is currently grappling it. Um, <gasps> Cam Buckland. Hello. Hello. So I've got snake shit behind me. He looks pretty weak as well. Yeah, the the big guy you can see Juto wrapped up in the coil of the middle of this giant snake. I'm not having a good time with it. I'm gonna let my cherubs take out the shit Mm -hmm. and focus on ungrappling the Juto. Okay. Uh, So what are you gonna do? Throw? Yeah, screw it. Just throw Nimbus. Though it is useless because its divine strike is poison. 
but do I get sneak attack because due to his grappled? Yes. Well, the ele- elemental is fighting it as well. That's true. I'm fighting it. Go and for an eye. I'm gonna use my gold dice yeah. to make sure this hits. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that will work, Cam, but what? 12. <laughs> 12. No, the dagger, whoosh, Nimbus just flies up, hits into a, a timber of the ceiling, whosh, pops back into your hand. For any new viewers, despite the name of our show, <laughs> I roll really high. Untrue. I think the show is named after me. <laughs> I think it is. Yeah. I've just thrown my new dice out. Like, Bonus action, I'm going to. Would you like to. You can borrow my Ak Ink dice if you want. No. Good, no, because they've like been them. rolling really bad for you, though, haven't they? As a bonus action, I'm going to. I'm, use, I'm back to this summon. baby. Oh, confiscate that! No, this is the Con- fair one. This is the fair one. Oh, it's the orange one, isn't it? Spiritual weapon. Yep. Ah, yeah. uh, now is your spiritual guardian's concentration? Oh no, spiritual, spiritual weapon, weapon is not. isn't. So it doesn't matter. Marku Sam. Okay. I should be also if it is spiritual concentration. I keep forgetting that you need to take. Should tests. I do it now? No, 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 no. Ah, it's my forgotten. Is it is spiritual guardian's concentration? No. no. Okay, that's fine. No, no spiritual guardian, not spiritual weapon. Spiritual Spiritual Guardians Guardians is is concentration. Okay, so that is, so if you take damage, I need to remember you've got to make concentration. It's a good thing I don't. Carry on. So, spiritual weapon. I've done my action. I've done my bonus action. Spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon can attack. You can attack. Oh, I can. Yeah. Why do you not know that? And I do. How many times have you cast this spell? 12 plus my... Spell attack. 8. 20. 20? That is a hit. The, the, what does it look like, the spiritual weapon? As you said, it looks like... A tiny cam cherub <laughs> with a this really is, big sword. With a really big sword. So it's the, that's the way it stands out. Yeah. Okay, it just flies He's out. He's like the leader. Yeah. So. <laughs> it like clashes the radiant blade. And it's a D8, isn't it? Yeah, 1D8 plus my spell casting What's ability. Come on, with Dom. Ooh, oh. those, were, um, those were like shelves that have all kind of like been knocked over. And no, no, I mean, out. what is on the floor that Trot keeps looking down at? Oh, he's looking oh, at his phone. Player handbook. No, my. Yeah. Um, I spell, yes, I spell cards. Spell so cards what was that? You rolled max sixteen plus your. It's just your wisdom, not your attack so bonus. It's, it's a spell casting modifier. Yes, which is just Four. your wisdom modifier. How much do you play this game? <laughs> so it's twelve, correct? Yeah, it's twelve, Mark. Obviously. Okay. The weapon Jeez. pierces through, and you can begin to see now that this creature is getting like these deep gashes of like burn marks and things like that. Um, it's wounded, but it's still fighting. Like, it still has plenty of strength left in it. Uh, so, we go back up to the top with Reynard Ferrohorn being surrounded. Your crossbow in the hands of a snake man. I'll get your ass out. Crossbow in the hands of another man. He's touching there it is. Snake hands. <laughs> snake hands, you can't see. Like, you you injured him previously. He has taken some, some wounds. Yeah. He does not. You know, he looks like... She's pretty much untouched though, isn't she? Uh, yeah, they've both been taken sort of like sub... Subfluous. Superfluous. <laughs> that was the word I was trying to say. <laughs> I knew the word, but I couldn't say it. Um, <laughs> so how does this engage action work? Take your... So because action. you, you don't have um, the thing that rogues and monks can get. Uh, oh. it's, it's a whole action, so instead of attacking, you can choose to disengage, which allows you to move your movement without taking opportunity attacks. But because you have Escape the Horde, they have disadvantage to hit you anyway. Okay, so hear me out. Okay, I love it. I love Reynard's crazy plans. I want to mm-hmm. stab my scimitar into the woman. Okay, so you turn around, you want to turn around. Use, in, in, as part of the attack, end up the other side of her. Okay. And then axle my sword right through her. Okay. So you stab it, and then you're going to leave it in her, spin yes, around her, and then, her and then axle it back to me. Yeah, true. And tear it right well, through her. Sounds like the first thing we need to do is you need to make an attack roll with a scimitar. See if You've you stab got a lot of unresolved anger issues. Just want to make sure. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a nine. It's a natural one, right? It's a natural one. So a natural one always misses. So you go to thrust it forward, um, and she kind of like, she is much more slender and agile than you were expecting, and she kind of just turns almost like a dancer to the way. And you actually kind of, because you were expecting that you'd leave your sword there and pull away, oh, no. the, the scimitar just sails past her and is now on the other side as you look at it, and she looks down and then smiles at you. Um, right. Not a nice smile. So that's like launched across the room now. Yeah. I want to... Action roll past her and away from Snake Hand, so I'm again like. You just get behind her basically. Yeah, you're yeah. going to try and follow your scimitar. Now they are going to get a tax opportunity, but they have disadvantage. Okay. So both of them are going to get this. Mm-hmm. She's going to pull it out, she's going to pull out a small knife and just try and cut you. Um, I might roll. die Dis- here. By disadvantage. Might die. Oh, I think you're right. Snake Hands. Oh. So Snake Hands is only a nine to hit. No, he doesn't. Nope. He has. Oh, like, nine to hit though. I'm 68 out of 82. Down. Down. Oh, you're fine. Uh, no, 10. Uh, you, you action roll perfectly. Hoo-ha! 
Um, so, does my sword have to be in my hands for me to axle? No. Nope. Right, I want to... Just done that before. That'll be my bonus action then to cast it and then just strike Target at her. Target at her. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So you point at her, axle! She kind of raises an eyebrow at you, ground. and then the scimitar flies up. And... 15, Ooh, so 23. That is going to hit. Uh, 1d6. Guys, we actually hit some. Oh my god. Oh, oh, so oh. Oh. That's 5 damage. Five We're rolling so points. badly tonight. This oh, is no. ridiculous. Okay, so the scimitar kind of cuts her face, and she like looks around in surprise, and she's just like, ah, deal with this one. He has some sort of magic blade. I'm in the room with you guys now, that means I'm safe, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, really safe. Yeah. Laura. Can I? Rock form. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> uh, can I see, so I get multi-attacks with my slam. Yes. Is it possible to use one of those to try and let yeah, you I would say it's out? your full action. If you want to try and pry off his thing, you'd need to basically mm, try and pull it off. That'd be a full action to help somebody escape a grapple. Because it's also the timing about it. It's like you'd have to spend the time to like be like okay. Yeah. success. Okay. And you said was he looking a bit injured now? He's yeah, he... physically injured. Yeah. Emotionally. He's got like deep scars from like all the okay. radiant energy and a few of your blows have definitely left like thick purple bruising. I scrapped him a little bit. I will. <laughs> yeah, you've got some gouges and... into the top of his head. I'll try and get you two out. Okay, so just give me a strength check. Elemental strength. Or a Eighteen. Eighteen. Um, what to do on a tie? Uh, I will say, rather than getting all due to out automatically, you actually kind of reach in and you start pulling the snake, you know, trying to pull it apart. But this creature is probably just as strong as you, maybe a little bit, you know, a little bit weaker, but it has a much better grip on Juto. Juto, give me a free um, acrobatics check to get out. Kind of use the opportunity that Laura's given you. <laughs> Like you're trying four to plus four is eight. You're trying to prise it open to give Juto enough room, but in like the top half of it, she's shout in his face a little bit, like ah. Yeah, it's while like, doing it, to try and, yeah, just really loud. Um, <laughs> he just like hisses back, but yeah. like, you kind of pull it apart, and Juto is like her top half becomes a bit more free, but like her foot and her legs are still being trapped underneath by the second coil, um, and it's just got that firm grip. Can on her, I basically. do it in a way that I block Juto from attacks? Can I? Put my I will say you can give some cover. So can if he chooses to attack okay. her, yeah. he'll, she'll have bonus I'll AC. Do that then. Um, cool. He'll That's still fine. have the advantage because you can't move, but you're giving her cover effectively. Okay. Um, um, and in the me. currently, if you're trying to tear him apart, he might target you instead because he can That's, constrict. That's he can fine. he can technically That's he can constrict her for free. So, um, and I'd say if he tries to crush her, the cover doesn't count because it's just letting him squeezing. So, but against like her scimitar and bite, you absolutely do provide some coverage. Um, the Madisons. This guy is going to make his wisdom saving throw. Natural twenty, half oh. damage. Alright. That's fine. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. I don't care. Ooh. Eight. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. However, that is still enough. The Ooh. tiny cherubs. <laughs> Descend on him like a swarm of <laughs> flies and just bzzz, ah, until he's this. Guys, we did it! We killed corpse. something! Still remember, you killed a swarm of snakes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that took a long time. Yeah, um, it's a Casually look over my shoulder and then give all the little cherubs a thumb up and, and then they all thumb up back. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, hey! <laughs> and they just give you a little thumbs up back. Hey! Um, snake hands, however, is not best pleased. Um, uh oh. He's gonna run past. He's coming up. He's like, you cannot escape me. Does my sword have a tax of opportunity? It does not, unfortunately. You have a tax of opportunity, but the sword acts on your will and uh, you have to direct it. Um, He charges at you. Snake ants. I cannot hit you for penis. (laughs) Ten (laughs) to hit you. Oh, okay. 18. I think that does get you, doesn't it? So you dodge the first snake bite, but then the second one comes in and grabs you on the thigh. Oh, um, okay. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 12, 12 points. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still alive. This venom is injected into your system. Oh my god. <laughs> you need to heal. <laughs> uh, well, despite currently being attacked by the scimitar, this one, this woman turns around. Uh, no, she it. doesn't. And she does, and she attempts to swipe no, at you with doesn't. her curved knife. Don't Here we be go. Silly. 
Right, first one is a six. Doesn't hit. Uh, second one is a four. Doesn't, also doesn't what? hit. Third one? Third one is another six. She's just swiping oh. at you viciously, <laughs> trying to desperately oh, trying to get a blow on you. It's all like, trying to dodge out of the way, like weaving and bobbing like some sort of boxer. Sucking. I'm just like really dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> just crying a little bit. No! Your arch nemesis oh. stands at the back. This is it. Level There's like two help. people in the way! Yeah. And a care. doorway! Yeah, well the doorway had the door knocked it's off broken. of it, the door got was broken down. Yeah. Um, uh, and he can technically it's be like... Honor, honor. He basically is just like, get out of the way! <laughs> and then he fires two bolts to bolt. Wilhelm. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oof, that's, it's like I rolled three, I rolled two threes and a one the last person to attack. The first one on this one is an 18, so it's going to be a 22. What, to hit? Yeah. Yeah, that hits. That's going to be 12 he's, points. He's out. I'm, oh, uh, I'm out by 10. Okay, so you go down. Yeah, I'm down. So you go to zero on the ground. Still shoot me. Um, as you fall down, he sees you thumbing up the cherubs, <laughs> and the second bolt comes for Cam. 22. Yeah, yeah, that'll hit. That's going to be 7, 8, 9, 10 points. And can you give me a constitution saving throw? I've never felt so naked in my life without my Wilhelm. A constitution saving throw? Concentration. Five. Const oh. Cherubs. Whoosh, you kind of like. Thump, ah! No! <laughs> they just wink out of existence. Like. <laughs> one just waves really sadly oh. and then. Boop. My eyes focus on that bass in the background. But your spiritual weapon is still active. Yeah. And radar's um, on the floor. Yeah, and, right, and you oh. see Reynard fall down <laughs> yeah. as this then this crossbow bolt just like line of sight. <laughs> hits you. Sorry, Steve, I just hit my mic. Uh, that's there go. Sound effect. Um, oh, Cassandra, uh, sensing that Reynard is down, is like eh, 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 no, and charges these <laughs> guys. Um, she will. She'll try and deal with the Malatons first. Throw me out of the room. I'll leave. I'm out here. It's going to be against them. She hits the Malison. She conjures forth a Divine Smite using one of her spells for 10, 14, 15, 16, 17 points of damage, which is enough. Woo, <laughs> snake hands is gone. Yay. Cassandra just comes in and cuts the snake hands in half. The man looks at the bleeding stumps and then falls to the ground. Oh um, and then she will utter a, using her last oh, no. Healing word, her last spell slot, she'll do a healing word on Reynard for a whopping five hit points. So, does that you put you to five? five. You go for, you start from zero. Okay. Get up! And she just kind of calls out to you. <laughs> You've still got a lot of work to do to make up for everything that's happened. What? I stand him up again. Uh, don't no, stand him up, he's still prone. Oh. Uh, he's conscious, however. Uh, that was Cass's go. The uh, Abomination. I'm all up in his grill. You are in his grill. I'm all up in the, the, his grill. the conscript. The conscript. What? Wisdom save, please. You failed. The, con the spell went, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Concentration check. The, con uh, the constrict attack won't have any benefits from cover. So, Juto, uh, this is with advantage. Uh, that's going to be a 26. Uh, that's eight points. <laughs> Crushes you a little bit more. Um, oh, and then it's going to turn its scimitar uh, onto you. It's not going to bother trying to bite you, it's just going to try and hit you twice with its weapon. Ten. No. Mm, Sixteen. No. Oh, really? Seventeen. Seventeen wow. AC. Nice. So it kind of just pings off your rocky hide as it's slashing at you with this uh, curved, huge curved blade it's wielding. Um, and then it is Juto's go. How damaged does it look? Uh, like I said, it's got wounds. It's got like these big gashes and things like that. But it's still like fighting with strength. It's fighting as if you know it still has energies remaining. Can I try and wriggle out? Yep. It's your movement. Don't give me that face. It's not my fault. You can't roll to escape. Ooh. Nineteen. Twenty. Okay. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Yes, you yeah. managed to escape the grapple. We um, <laughs> You basically are uh, still fight. You kind of like squeeze out and get on the other side of it. Um, what would you like to do? Right, so move? That's an effect. How's the chinchilla exploding? Chinchilla okay. it, are you checking your chinchilla? No. Because that would require some like checking of pockets. No. I would like where to everyone in the room dies attack. immediately. She's watching the chinchilla as everyone's just like. <laughs> 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 uh, five. Fire. No. What would you like to do? 
Tell me, please. What would you like to do? I'm going to Everyone attack. prep your moves. Prep your moves. Fucking, I know my moves. So with a grand hour, you try and 13. spin it around. 13. Smith. No, the creature's <laughs> thick scales repel the Gwandao's blade. Repel. Second attack. Grumpy Kim is in full effect because she can't roll well. 15. Full 15 just about manages to cut through its scales. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points. Did a thing, guys! You heard the thing. Again, another cut goes through. I shall squeeze the life out of you. Do not think you have escaped for long. Um, that's me swearing at the abomination. Mm-hmm. Wait, not I know, I know. Um, <laughs> I know. Can I do anything else? Can you? Well, I would maybe like to do a, a, a patient defense. Okay, so you spend a key point, patient or defense. Or is it a, a, evasion? No, the, the one evasion where it's like, where if he take, comes for me, I'm like, dodge, you dodge, You have disadvantage, dodge. yes, that's patient defense. Key point. Mark off them key points. Um, Cam Buckland. Hello, I would like to throw Nimbus at its face. Which one? The big one? The big one, please. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. You sure? That's my decision. Very well. <laughs> um, 16. 16. Yes, the Nimbus flies through, thuds into its creature's so side. D6 sneak attack and a D4. Plus what? your dex. Well, plus your normal damage bonus. 12. 12 points, points. of Nimbu damage. Okay, that one like it actually strikes up into like part like near its face and it cuts part of its mouth and it's like hissing, blood starts pouring into its like it kinda of cuts above the eye and the blood starts pouring in this thick green ichor. Um ah! a tiny chair braces up to its face and it goes for a little slash. Twelve plus uh, Can someone please eight. draw a cam cherub? Twenty? Yeah. 20 hits, yeah. The cam chair holding butt. a giant sword. Like the buster sword from Final Fantasy. 10 <laughs> points of radiant yeah. damage. Okay. The cha- cam chair kind of flies up, and as it's kind of like reeling from the blow, and all these wounds over it, like oozing with like a. It kind of just goes like. <laughs> and chops its head off. Yes! <laughs> it burns away. Chair um, okay. yeah. Can I uh, fist bump it? Huh? A little radiant spark. Yeah. <laughs> a little light born spark. Um, yeah, yeah, and it bro. just like the body slumps to the ground. Um, it turns, as the body hits, the body turns into thousands of little snakes. But oh they, my god. They wither and die very oh, quickly. Okay. They just. Oh, Jesus Christ. The shop is full of snakes! <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Just yeah. spend the next Spawn three swarms stamping yeah. them. No, uh, it's, just they just kind of like it kind of yeah. breaks down, down and then the, the the snakes just shrivel into like skins, almost like shed yeah. skins. Um, that is Cam Buckland's go. Reynard, goddamn no bro. You're alive. <laughs> Got five hit points. Get up, um, really. You see this woman kind of the um, you see the woman react as the large creature goes down. Fear suddenly sets in her eyes. I mean, I can't even get away from her because of the attack opportunity. You have dis- can... They have disadvantage no, against to hit yeah, you. Know, or you can disengage, you can spend your action to disengage. I don't want to get up, walk a feet, one, one foot, get hit and fall down again. Uh, right, well, Scimitar's going to attack anyway. Okay, so you're going to direct the Scimitar. Uh, that's 14. 14 is just enough, yep. Oh. It kind of flies through, catches her in the back. Yep. Uh, nine. Nine points. With that, she kind of cries out, arcing as like the back cuts. And you can see where it cuts, there's almost like a thin layer of snake skin beneath her fleshy pink skin, but it does bleed quite heavily. That's pretty um, gross. Yeah, it's pretty gross. She's um, still up. She is still up, but she's like howling in pain as she does. Right, I will just get up and cower behind Cass. <laughs> so we're going to stand up, Sorry. and then as your action, you disengage. Yeah, like yeah. back here, basically. You kind of just duck, but dive behind Has Cass. Has she got a cloak? So uh, she doesn't, she just has her armor, actually. I'll just sort of <laughs> hide where she her. is. I'm gonna. Yeah. I, I get the visual <laughs> visual <laughs> indication of what you're doing. Uh, Elora. Smash! So you just turn on this this woman, oh, good um, wearing sort of like shocky clothing, holding a curved blade, a short bow, sort of slung over her shoulder, <laughs> and just. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna. 25 to That's hit. gonna hit. Um... <laughs> Spirit Guardians. 
nine damage. Second attack. Oh, that might not. Uh, it's a ten. Ten? No, she actually. So I'm gonna use luck. luck. How many of you have you spent? I've like, not it's spent a new any day, today. so you put three. Fourteen. That's gonna hit. Okay, don't bother rolling. I won't do it anyway, Mark. Oh, actually, how much was that? Eight. No, wait, five, six, seven. yeah. Eight. Damn it! You said. slam your fist down, and being you're an earth elemental, I'm gonna say not so prone. Um, you slam this woman with a hiss. You hear bones snap, uh, a cry of anguish, and then as the fist is raised, you look at this woman with like, basically her arm is completely like broken and snapped in the wrong way. Her legs are crippled. Um, her breathing is heavy, but she is barely alive. Can um, I just pin her down? So I'm just sure. like just her. Can I just I'll put it keep this, her on the ground? You like, don't even, like, there's no way she's walking on those legs. Like, she could try and crawl brutal. with one arm. But I just need you her to stay just, barely alive. You could probably just alive. stand over her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to focus on that. Okay. That's and what you do. make a grumble towards them that tells well, them you to just go hear, to the other room. <laughs> I, I want to raise, rock my room, <laughs> my, raise my arm and point towards the last guy mm -hmm. and then s just stay over this woman. Okay. Damn. So, that's your go. And it would be the Malisons. It's actually technically Cassandra's go. She sees that happening. She's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. She just marches on this guy. The guy desperately kind of like trying to fling bolts, but Cass is just like, just knocks one out of the way. Um, she's gonna get up to him and... Uh, she just snaps, like smashes the crossbow out of his hands, which like goes sliding across okay, the room. <laughs> no, no, she hits it with an, a gauntleted fist. And it just <laughs> scrapes across the ground. Right. Um, <laughs> And she basically just yells in his face, just like, what have you done with the children? Tell me where they are! And like tries to pin him up against the wall. Um, good. And she manages to get like an armored fist and just slams him against the stone. You actually see the stone kind of shudder for a moment as she kind of slams him into it. The shelves around just kind of sh uh, shutters. At that point, I'm gonna say let's jump out of initiative because none of these guys uh, really possess too much of a threat at this point. I want to run up and see if my crossbow's okay. <laughs> so you limp like <laughs> uh, um, the It's scuffed. It's like badly sort of scraped Cassandra. and scuffed. Cassandra! I'm going to pick up her. <laughs> uh, you just hear this kind of like... <gasps> and bring her through to where the other guy is with Cass. And you can't Olivia. fit through that door. <laughs> that is a okay, medium well, person Okay, well, you know what? Laura's actually the same strength. It's true, you can just shrink actually, back down. Actually, stronger. So really? I'm gonna just shrink to Laura, pick her up, yeah, you just, and go into the other room. <laughs> yeah, you just pick her up one hand, just carry her through. Um, and yeah, you just carry her through. She is conscious, but like she's like her wind, like it looks like like probably part of her like windpipe has been like, injured. So she's like, oh. let it go of me. Like, she's just barely struggling. Um, Chinchilla. Uh, there is a dark red stain. Oh, you... No! I rolled. I rolled to see if it hit. I rolled the damage. Figured a chinchilla probably has the same HP as, like, a small animal. Not much. I'm going to, uh, look at you two, checking, and then just awkwardly walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any other chinchillas in the shop? They all ran away. <laughs> there, remember, like, the... Is there a back room with chinchillas? No. Oh, they're gone. As I walk into this room, I'm like, guys, just don't talk to Juto right now, honestly. Uh, Wilhelm's okay. okay. You can look. probably let her know that my crossbow is fine. I wouldn't say anything like that. Away. No. <laughs> uh, you do, however, see, uh, you know, there's definitely commotion. You can see a lot of like people pointing at the shop, like trying to keep an eye, like trying to see what's happening. Um, but there are no chinchillas. They all ran away. They like the thingy. The case got smashed when you first started fighting, and I described them that they all ran away. It might have been another case. It wasn't like a pet store, it was like a mixture of things. They had some pets. Juto, do you have Sorry. 300 gold worth of diamonds that I can save him? <laughs> no? <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to try and awkwardly pick up the broken door and close it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. I'm yeah. gonna slam this door shut. Like, okay. Just, just you just slam, slam and you leave yourself in a devastated florist <laughs> and that works. everything else shop. Um, Why? I won a session! The, I don't even have a chance to argue. What are you? What are the three of you? So you're checking your crossbow. I'm destroyed. You're him. holding up this woman. I'm ho I'm holding her near the other guy so that Cassandra can question because Cassandra knows more about this mm -hmm. children. But thing. you're just holding him up, sort of like near Cassandra. I'm right? basically yeah. I'm holding her so that she can't go anywhere, but Cassandra can talk to her if she needs to. Okay. Okay. I got to think. So. Not for the sake of combat, but you and Cassandra are going to roll initiative for something. Just okay. roll initiative right quick. Uh, <laughs> 15. Okay, 15. You watch as the guy just kind of presses himself back, and you can see his hand goes down for something at his belt. He pulls out one of these curved blades that you saw the woman had, and he attempts to, like, almost looks like he's going to kill is the, the woman that you're currently holding like he tries to plunge it into her but Cass actually just wham just grabs his arm throws him on the ground and then stomps on his knee he screams in agony it's just like ah it's just like nope you don't need that and just like squeezes her boot down a little bit more um brutal I'm actually gonna check if they've got any other weapons on them uh, the woman hasn't got anything else. Uh, she has a few copper, she has like a few silver and copper pieces, like maybe about 20 silver worth, um, and nothing else. The man, uh, the only thing you can see is that he had, uh, he has like a quiver of arrows that he had quickly slung on his shoulder, um, but you can easily pull those out. Um, While this is going on, can I like rifle around in this room and just see if there's yeah, any, sure. any hiding chinchillas? Uh, okay, <laughs> give me an investigation check. And money in the till. <laughs> money in the till. <laughs> Or, you know, any maps of, like, the children are here, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> 18. 18. You don't find any chinchillas or any maps labelled children are here. <laughs> Chinchilla you do here. find there is some money in the till. Uh, there's approximately, you estimate maybe about 100 golds worth of loose coin. You know, split between various kind of currencies. Um, 100 gold, yeah. Uh, so you know that it's that. Um, apart from that... This front of the store looks pretty legitimate, like looking around, clearly they had hidden like snakes and things amongst all the foliage, but it probably is, you know, a legit or was at least legit business once. Um, but yeah, it looks like this storefront has been maintained as, as well as the storefront can be. Uh, those of you in the back room, um, you retrieve Wilhelm, scratched up as it is. Yeah, I'm just sort of sobbing a little bit, I'm really weak. You are quite injured as well. Yeah, uh, you can see like <laughs> bleeding and sort of the poison is still in your system. It's oh, burning it? underneath your skin. Um, I'm gonna grab his face and just buzz him with some healing. Okay. Yeah, you guys can cast healing spells as you wish. Um, I'd say Katie at the moment and Laura probably can't because she's holding That's this fine. woman. I'm holding the woman. Um, uh, Cassandra basically is just like, leave this one with me for now. She doesn't look like she's much threat. Why don't you go look around? I'm not particularly good at finding things. I can at least get this one talking. Are and then you she sure? Do you want me to tie anyone up? <laughs> yeah. Help with anything? She just kind of smirks and says, mm, she's not going very far on his legs. And then she and she points down this one. She just puts more pressure on the probably shattered kneecap. And the guy's just like, ah! He's just screaming in pain. And then she just slowly lowers the greatsword to his neck and says, mm, I think I should be fine. Okay. I'll get what information I can out of them. You guys go upstairs. I'm gonna, yeah, let's go upstairs. Okay. Or you... I'll search around here. Yeah. It looks like that this was a living quarters have a of some sort. Look around the storage and look through the crates and barrels and things. Okay. When everybody who's why doesn't Reynard, Reynard, why don't you stay down here and search this room and also keep an eye to make sure Cassandra's okay? Okay. And then Did she hit my crossbow. We'll go upstairs search. Right. He was holding it and was going to shoot the rest of us, Reynard. I guess. <laughs> Do you have to be I'm so go upstairs. Mean? Yeah, I guess. Oh, what's <laughs> oh, no, you, Yeah, you drop the door like, as you turn around. You're like, I make sure yeah. Juto doesn't see me. <laughs> you just see your butt, like. <laughs> uh, you probably actually see Juto like rummaging in like the shelves, like holding things up. Like she finds like something furry. It's like a moment of hope now. It's like some sort of like cloth or plant. It just looks very Are sad. Snakes. Ah, uh, no, they're all dead. We would not let you keep one after them. <laughs> yeah. I have really high animal friendship. Oh, they're, um, they're, they are, dead ones, you though. killed pretty much every snake that was in this place. True. The rabbits and chill and chillers all escaped. Um, What's upstairs, Merc? So those of you going upstairs, give Whoa. me investigation Whoa. checks. Um, 
Uh. It does that sometimes. Six. Twenty. <laughs> Six and twenty. You need to give me some investigation checks while you're sitting here as well. You're yeah. holding me up right now. Six and twenty. Okay. Uh, investigation. Mm -hmm. uh, ten. Okay, ten. So, a couple of things you guys find. Upstairs, rummaging through, there's actually, it looks like uh, there was hidden in a chest, there was a couple of bedrolls that look like they might have been using for sleeping rather than the bed downstairs. You find things like food, rations. There's a couple of things that you, you find quite odd, though. Um, you actually find a, a chest hidden beneath a bunch of blankets um, that contains a lot more gold than a store like this probably ever would have. Interesting. 400 gold, 50 platinum coins, um, and then about 200 golds worth of various gemstones. Diamonds? Could you repeat, no diamonds. Could you repeat that for the treasure? 400 gold. Okay, so four. I don't find the chest. I'm like looking behind curtains and stuff. Mm -hmm. And don't find anything. Okay. Elora finds it. Elora finds it. <laughs> I got a six. 400 gold. 50 platinum. 50 platinum. And about 200 golds worth of rubies, sapphires, onyxes. Various small gemstones. Very small ones. <sighs> There's nothing here. Um, you find that. Reynard, you got a 10, right? Yeah. Um, you don't find anything, but there's something odd about... There's like a pile of crates in the corner. Mm -hmm. And there's just like... You're looking around, and it seems weird. Like, they're in a really weird position. You're not really sure why they're there. But you don't crates, find anything. Crates shouldn't be here. They should be slightly over to the left. Well, it's just like they're in an awkward place to put them. Like, if these are storage, why would you keep I, like, them? I, like, stuck my like, toe on them as I'm trying to walk around. Yeah. Uh, Juto, you look like you had something you wanted to do, you or are you just sad? <laughs> I want to come into that room okay, and you can just look sad. interrogate you people if they had any more chinchillas left. Uh, he hisses. Uh, you overhear Cassandra's basically uh, just kind of doing the, the Jack Bauer like, Where are the children? <laughs> what have you done with them? I'll break you. Where is she? Yeah, where is she? Um, uh, doing things like that, and he's basically trying to intimidate them using things, like saying things like, you know, I'll go easy on you. I'll give you the mercy of Bahama, uh, of uh, bah Bahumat, uh, Bahamut, Bahamut. Bahamut. Yeah, I fucking can never pronounce that right. Um, if you tell me where they are, I'll give you a swift death. Uh, the guy kind of spits up. He's just like, ah, the Lord Seth will save me from whatever pitiful god you have. Um, as you ask Chinchillas, his eyes look to you. He's just like, <laughs> what strange company you keep, warrior? Such fools. Um, that's what he says. He didn't answer my question. I do not care for these miserable animals. We use them as a front, that's all. I'm going I to... fed them to the Malisons when I wished. I'm going to dip my finger into the pocket where the squishy blob is mm -hmm. and just run my hand on his face. Ah, uh, okay. And I would like to use a thaumaturgy cantrip uh -huh. to be a bit more scary. Okay. A bit more like red eyes and stuff like that. You can give me an intimidate check. But the blood right, doesn't, just, like, fuck? the blood really doesn't seem to bother him. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, he kind of looks up at you, and the blood doesn't seem to affect him, but this kind of intense look you're giving him kind of, like, sets him a bit on edge. Um, I just want to say, answer her questions. He looks up, and he's just like, they're gone. If you're expecting to find them here, they've already been taken. I don't know where. They don't tell us these things to keep it secret. <laughs> And then she punches him in the face. And she's like, Bruh! He like spits up blood. Um, Do we find anything Meanwhile, else you guys, uh, no, you literally find this like tre chest of gold, and then, yeah, just like things that they will probably. You find like um, small vials of probably the poison that he's been dipping the arrows in. Um, looks like it's just some sort of contact poison or injury poison. All right, I'm going to walk back downstairs. Just in time Can to I, see I'll me. I'll take the poison. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what are you doing? I will take the poison. And I will give it to Reynard two vials of poison for you to dip your crossbow bolts into. Wow. Uh, I mean, like, oh, my, boat, my bolts are okay, right? Yeah, you had your bolts you on you. Well, how do you shoot so many? Well, I'm getting you. Yeah, he's got bolts. He, yeah. oh, okay. he had his own thing. Yeah, he had arrows, right? but the crossbow has, like, you have these clips and it had, like, Some sort of them already in there loaded. Seeing the vials of poison, that just reminds me. I've got healing potions. Okay, you want to take some healing I'm potions? I'm going to cloth both of them at once. Both of them at once, ah. okay. <laughs> Does Reynard see me? Eight from the first one. Wipe chinchilla. I yeah. decide to ignore that as you're rubbing so blood 15, and fur 15 over 15 HP the total for both potions. 15 HP you're like, total. You're <laughs> like... <laughs> your wounds start knitting back together. 15 HP for both potions, yes. Jeez. Okay. Um, I'm going to say... 
this is messed up. <laughs> I'm getting some air. I'm gonna walk out the front. Okay. Are you still holding? What did you? You put the other one on the floor, didn't you? I don't yeah, know. I'm gonna yeah. come back. She's just like upstairs. croaking, like she's like. Just <laughs> <laughs> here, like struggling to breathe. Basically, I'll go back down and join Cassandra mm-hmm. and ask if they've said said anything yet. Nothing anything. useful. They say that the children aren't here. That they've already been taken. taken they must have taken by who? <laughs> the others. My people working for this sky that you also despise. Cool. Profitable I... job for the time being, but gave my superiors what they really wanted. Something to play with. <laughs> <laughs> his eye, his, his little snake tongue flickers. And you can see that his eyes have taken on a full reptilian sort of what look. What time now. is it right now? Uh, you guys came here pretty early, like early afternoon. It's not been Can that I long. check the chest, please? <laughs> what chest? <laughs> uh, the, you said there were some crates that were. Yeah, Reynard like weird. noticed that there were some weird crates and things like that. Can I check them? Yeah, sure. Give me an investigation with advantage. Fourteen. Fourteen. Looking around, you can see that these crates, there's tiny scratch marks, and the way that the dust has settled on the floor, these crates probably get moved quite frequently, like. The way that the rest of the room's laid out, there's not as much done. You know, the, just there's something about them like looks like that they've been moved recently. Can I move them? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, you can move them. Yeah, it's not too. They're not too heavy. You probably, you know, especially with the Laura. Laura can literally just like, bah, <laughs> bah, and then put them down on the other side. Um, there is a trap door. Looks like a basement or a cellar. Interesting. Oh. Where does this lead? Give me an investigation check. Snake boy. <laughs> what a face. 15. 15. Roll some percentile die for me. Oh, fuck. I'll give you a 15, I'll give you a 75% chance. 19. 19, okay. Yep. Oh! Okay, yep. Good. Um, so you move the things. Uh, you ask him where he goes. <laughs> Why don't you go down there and find out? God, I really want to hurt this guy. I'll get nothing from me. I'm not afraid of you. You can cause me pain or you like, ah! He's going to steps on this thing. But it does not matter. We shall die for our great lord, Seth. What is down there? He just grins. Can I try and intimidate him again? Uh, you don't think, like, you've kind of given it your best shot, you're not sure if... I've run out gonna... chinchilla. Well, it's also just like, you're not... How do you want to intimidate him? What are you going to do? That's the main thing. Get like, really just angry. being scary and being angry, he does not Punch seem bothered. Next to his... Doesn't, like, you get... Like, fire. even Cassandra's pain, the fire doesn't seem to really bother him either. What's like, that? pain and things like that, he's not affected by. Is there anything snakes are weak to? Mongoose. <laughs> do you have a mongoose? No. Can you turn it? No, I can't. I've used both of my shapes, I can't. What is a um, <laughs> Is the trap door, is it locked? Or is it...? Uh, you don't know. Are you going to try? Can I look and see if it looks trapped in any way, or...? Give me a perception check. I'm going to come back in. I would like to percept as well. 24? Right. 24. Uh, the, the ring pull on the, the trap door, there's like a, a very thin, translucent liquid covering it. There's no way you'd be able to pick it without the the, the liquid touching you. Open that door. <laughs> you know it won't affect me. Why do you think we put it on there in the first place? Just Go open it. Thing. Can we tell it? Make me. Poisonous. Hmm? It will be, if it doesn't affect them. I'm not affected. What's going on? You Did you say that the arm of the much. woman is no, really I mean. mangled at the moment? Yeah. Can I chop it off with a scimitar? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you want to? So you just go up and you're just like, hack. I mean, her hand won't Come be affected by it. Nope. Okay. So yeah, you, you watch as Reynard goes over to this crippled body, just kneels down and is like, hmm. <laughs> like a butcher's knife. I mean, I'm uh, literally immune to poison what? and I can like protect You could have mentioned this sooner. Like blood starts going, she's like, ah, nah. the shock of which probably like 
the light fades from her eyes, mm. um, and you hear the the man just kind of just like, Ah, Sylvia, I shall avenge you when I am free of these fleshy well primates. Not to be you next. Came back too soon. <laughs> blood just covers the floor. This kind of greenish blood. Very odd. We need to get into Sandra. Just kind of looks at you. That wasn't what? incredibly noble or it, heroic. It, was it not? No. We're going to get in the trap door. Given what these creatures have likely done to these children, I'm not saying that... Hmm, let's just say whatever punishment comes their way is probably just in the eyes of Bahamut. Just in the eyes of Bahamut. Do Bahamut. not use this as an excuse, Reynard. You did not do it with for such noble means. I but did it get into the trap door. They might be down then there. Then search it. I want to use a hand. I like, just try and like hook it under and then like Ugh. yeah yeah i'd say that you can kind of do it like you have to like touch her like mangled fingers to like pull it oh, up a couple tendons uh, it, like yeah you feel them like dislocate and things like that it's gross like it's really gross so like a bin picker you can't use it that way. uh but you kind of manage to get like the and it does like the poison starts sizzling but her hand doesn't seem bothered um and it just Leading down, there is a, um, a, a, a rickety wooden ladder that leads down into a very dark looking tunnel. There is no light apart from the light in this room going down into it. I was thinking of being heroic, but Could I'm not going down there. Could I light up my moon bow and hold mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it seems to go down about uh, 15 feet, and then it looks like a very old looking tunnel system, kind of ancient stonework, rough dirt floor, um, probably a little bit of uh, like almost like stagnant sewage, it kind of smells quite badly, but it's a long tunnel, maybe about 10 feet wide, um, heads off in two directions. While they're doing this, can I rummage around the storefront? Yeah. Looking for like stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind of, you watch as Cam like rummages around for a little bit. <laughs> it's a nine plus perception. Yeah. 13. 13, yeah. Yeah, you kind of rummage around and things like what that. What are you doing? I, yeah, you, you. I think I know. You find something. Good. I come back. I'm going to tap Juto on the shoulder. Juto. Say, so, uh, it's not. This one is <laughs> much prettier. <laughs> Oh yeah, this one's a really cute chinchilla. It's a real. It's like little brown tufty fur, little white belly, uh, <laughs> big sort of teeth. It's like looking around, like it's like nibbling on Cam's like shirt cuff. This time, don't let a big snake wrap you up and destroy it. <laughs> Take care what of this did one. You, how did? I went outside and found one. Also, I got some food from the storefront. So I'm just gonna be like. I don't know, like, you know like in Puss in Boots when his eyes just go like <laughs> maximum like wide? I'm just gonna do that and just not really know don't how to process to this. I'll get gently. If we're finished with the acquiring of pets, <laughs> it's good for morale, Kath. Can somebody go check that tunnel? I'd like to find out where they've Has anybody got gone. a light? Kath, do you know if there's any tunnel systems that are under this city that are not, used for anything? Not to my knowledge. Um, Dermot would probably be the one better to know about things like this. And I suspect if any citizens have reported it to the watch, given the noises, I imagine he and some guards are probably on their way here. We can wait for them if you wish. Is it a really dark tunnel? You can't see it's, yeah. yeah, it's pitch, pitch black. black. Uh, I'm going to get Nimbus. Mm -hmm. I've already done that. Laura's got her Moonbow. You can see into uh, this tunnel, but like, obviously the Moonbow's light only goes so far. Can I shoot one of my radiant arrows down it? I mean, you can see the light at the bottom. Like, it's only 15 foot deep. Like, you can see but the bottom of the tunnel. I mean, further along the tunnel. Yeah, I mean, you can. What's, do you want to like, like lean in and shoot it down the tunnel or just yeah. illuminate the bottom of the yeah, ladder? Yeah, just like shoot it. To see how yeah. how far the tunnel goes. Okay, yeah, well, it goes both ways. So you choose one side, you fire it down. Oh, it goes two ways. Yeah, okay. it goes two ways. I'll mm. fire it down one side first. Okay, so you fire it down. Uh, it, it it goes past the radius of your light. Like, it extends some ways. And this is ancient. It looks like it's yeah. not. It looks ancient. like before, it looks like it's probably very similar to when you guys went to the graveyard district and you kind of saw some of the mausoleums and things mm. beneath the city. It's probably the city that was before Talisval, before the lightfall. Um, it was probably part of that. That's why they took over this storefront, probably, because it's a convenient location to access these tunnels. Yeah. Does it look like there's any more entrances or exits to them? Or is it just that? Is that the only one we see? Or do we see, like, it go into other buildings? Uh, not from where you are, not with your light currently. Okay. No. okay. The snake man tries to wriggle free, because I'm just... 
puts it down. Ah! Can we kill it now? By all means. Oh, he wants it. All right, give him a life. It's fine. Ah, very well. Can we hurt him? You can do whatever you wish. It's so flexible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his little tongue. How are you communicating with the broken sky? <laughs> A good question. Does anyone I don't have no intention of telling you the answer. Does he have any tattoos on his arm? He does not know. Can, does, uh, did she have tattoos yeah. on her arm? Can someone magically suggest he tell us everything? I don't have that. Yep, yeah. can. Uh, animal friendship. Uh, he is not an animal. Well, we got, we got scrolls, animal. didn't we? We got all of the scrolls. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, Sam. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> is that you did? <laughs> oh my god, um, No, we don't have any relevant no, we don't. scrolls. So, what do you guys want to do at this point? You have this tunnel. Do you want to wait? Do you want to go down in the tunnel now? What would you like to do? Cassandra is basically like... Sorry, Steve? Good time for a break Good time for a break Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to take a five minute break. Play some ads. Will we go down? Will where, we we, where, where will they go? I know. We'll find out. Very, very Five soon. minutes. Five minutes. Come back. More high rollers.
Hello, and welcome back. Thank you. I, you. I like that you did that like a second before we went live, so then we could <laughs> stop you. Uh, welcome back to High Rollers. Um, the party have finished the encounter that they started last week, uh, where they were fighting a various Yuan Ti, some snake men's, um, and now they face the dilemma of they have just discovered a secret trapdoor that seems to lead into a series of tunnels beneath the city, um, and they have captured at least one of the snake people alive. Snake peeps. Can I brank, briefly thank people? Brank. Brankly uh, thank people Bra for tweeting me pictures of chinchillas. No. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thanks. So you've got one now. It's all fine. Yeah, no, it's fine now. But they were tweeting me when it died. <laughs> <laughs> With some very sad messages. <laughs> but yeah. So, friends, the 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 game is yours. What would you like to do? Is it possible to take a short rest? Because I'm a little hurty. Okay. One hour. You can sit here for an hour if you like. Don't you said Dermot was on his way. You, Cassandra, Cassandra would said. assume so. Very well. I'm quite battered. I uh, can do with some rest. Okay. So you're gonna take a short rest for an hour. Before we settle down for a rest, I'm gonna go over to Cam. Boom. And just like really awkwardly like. You don't have to do this. You don't have to. It's okay. I understand. Like touch. The. Uh, touch his, like kind of like. I don't really know what hugging is. So you just like pat him on the yeah, shoulder, kind of like, like. It's like super awkward and cringy. Thank you. It's okay, Juto. I've just, never had a pet. Well, now you do. And it's not a slave. I shall call it it's, Cam. That's a bit weird, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. And it's just um, like a super awkward. There thing. is still this like dead chinchilla in your pocket, like the blood is like seeping through the dress and like there's just this mulch. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> it's literally dead to her. I'm gonna remember that. Uh, you guys spend an hour, so you may spend hit dice to regain hit points. Anything that you get back after a short rest, you regain. Um, okay. Uh, you may spend as many One. hit dice as you wish. Of course, Katie, being a circle of the moon druid, never needs to use hit dice from a short rest. Because she never takes damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm for four. I've got like 100,000 million hit points. Meh. 126, actually. Yeah. How many did I burn through in that fight? 38. 38. Oh, what, what a graze I did upon you. I was trying to get all up in their grill. I know you were, I know. But there's a point where your enemies just go like, why am I bothering? I can just fight the other things. They're way squishier. Oh my god. What? <laughs> What? Sprawling really low. <laughs> Spending those hit dice. Everyone's doing math. Do Welcome to help? the next bit of D and D, uh, also known as math. Live math oh. here on Twitch. That's number wang. That's right. number Do you need wang. Any more help? Uh, I've used. Where you at? Six. Yes. All my hit dice. You've used all of them. All of them. All ten. No, six. Oh, wait, yeah. It's your level, level Chris yeah. Trot. Please, <laughs> for the love of Gary Gygax, learn this fucking game. We've been <laughs> playing it for over a year and a half. Six, 51 seven. episodes. <laughs> and I've explained Hit Dice every single time. I know it too. Do you it's just you my at? brain. <laughs> Can I borrow an eraser and a pencil? I have an eraser and a pencil. There we Thank go. Thank you. Thank you. What do you What do you like? Do I'm you fine now. I need to Are math sure? for a second. Um, does fine that fine bring back my hellish rebuke or anything? Or no. no. What do you at? Key points, yes. Uh, Fifty-seven down. So key points, yes. Uh, spells and things generally not unless you're a warlock. Warlock. You don't have warlock. Yeah. And I just use seven. Does the chinchilla need to attune to yes. So nope. you're still at It is a regular uh, no. chinchilla. Uh, it is very squishy. It is a dumb animal. It eats and poops and sleeps. Is it cute? It's very cute. It is an inc I rolled a 93. It is incredibly cute. Uh, we'll find out. Right That's now it's kind of just like... From. It, you've right. got the food from Cam so and you're, it's just you're eating food okay. from I've got that you've got. I've got a on animal handling. Okay. You, it probably will like you after spending some time. Like, you're okay. feeding it, yeah. <laughs> you're feeding it, you're giving it little cuddles. You need like those little Pikachu walkers. I find it weird that Zuto's never had a pet and doesn't really know about animals, but has such good animal handling. It's like some sort of like weird... I always imagine it's more like wilderness, like... Yeah, you're like horses, Crocodile Dundee, you're like... Yeah. Wee, yeah. Wee. And then it like, it's like, oh, I like so you now. innate genetic ability mm. to care for other things. So, after an hour of resting, during during your hour rest, uh, you have one dead snake woman. The other, you're not sleeping, you're just resting. 
That's how I breathe. You just like have a quick <laughs> hour. Oh, so you're breathing. Yeah. So you have like a quick power nap. You're like, oh, I'm awake. Um, yeah. Can I use a bit of that time to clean the crap out of my pocket? Yes, that's exactly what a short rest is perfect for, is like cleaning out crap dead chinchilla in and your pocket. Lint. I mean, the blood stain is still there. There's still like great, like you, it's literally you pull out the bloody mess. You maybe get like a water skin and try and like wash it out, but it's I not very pleasant. I kind of try and bury the remains as well. Okay, you just head outside, find a dirt bit of dirt in the street, and bury it there. <laughs> you get a few funny looks. Um, I get that all the time. That's true. Um, after an hour or so, the 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 snake man attempts a few escapes, but Cassandra just has him basically at her whim. She has one foot over a shattered knee. Um, she does have to sit down for a bit after a while, and she just kind of throws him into a corner and just points her sword at him. Sits on a bed and just has this blade at his throat. Uh, a squadron of about 10 um, militia guard uh, wearing the green emblem of the, um, the Gilded Arms uh, and Dermot arrive. Dermot looks haggard. He looks like he's barely slept. Um, he kind of bursts through the door, looks at the scene of chaos, sees the few of you guys kind of like waiting around and just kind of goes, like, oh, bloody hell, what happened here? Uh, all the pets got away. Please don't tell me that you just raided some random pet store and, and that, that's what this is. Yeah. I have a chinchilla. We, we raided it so that Juto could get a chinchilla. I'm just holding it up. Actually, the people running this store were working with the Broken Sky. I Thank you. I, yes, I'm glad. We didn't do it for no reason, Dermot. There I, was a reason. I assume Promise. so. It's just... Ugh. Can I um, hold the uh, snake arm that I've got? Oh, yeah. Form it into a pointing finger. Point it at the guy that we captured and say, We've got a, we captured one of the two. Are you holding a woman's arm? Uh, is it not snaky? It's like, no, it's no, like it's a hand. person's arm, but like where you've cut it, you can see that there is like a thin layer of snake skin underneath and like this, green blood. This did come from one of those people, but we've captured one of one. those people. Who's those people? God. It's one is, of the the big people. Big, is the big uh, body of the died. big dude still there? It yeah. turned oh, into no, a bunch of snakes. Nice. That then are there any of the The other Malison snakes? bodies are there. Yeah. He's like, he sees the one with the snake arms that have been chopped off, and he's like, right, so, okay, snake men now. Yes. Terrorists with lightning powers, snake men, and giants. Just fucking great. I don't care about your fucking chinchilla, Juto. Oh, I wouldn't. Oh, she, she very I've much. I've had a very long fucking night, all right? Right. What happened? Tell me now. We caught wind of children going missing, and it led us to here. Okay, and he looks over in Cassandra, and she's like, yes, the thing I spoke with you about. He's like, right, I know about that. Cass was looking into it, because we didn't have the men to spare. So okay. that led you here. Yes. Right? And the snake people were not very helpful. They are working with the Broken Sky. How do we know that? Because we interrogated them. The they can, we're going to have to re-interrogate them because obviously your testimony doesn't hold any official standing, but being a snake man will kind of work against him for that. Um, they also have a trap door to underground tunnels. Underground yeah, tunnels? Do you, here. do you know anything about underground tunnels in the city? Yeah, can yeah. Can I lead him over and shine the light down and show him why? He looks down and he's like, oh, yeah, damn it. These, um, they call them the runs. They go all throughout the city. It's um, thieves' guilds used to use them before we clean them all out. They're part of the old city that Talisvel was built on top of. They pretty much run all over the place. We thought we'd blocked up most of the entrances and exits to them, the ones that I knew about anyway, through my contacts, but there's Seems probably like still a few in the city. Snake lords. Does it look like the here? entrance to this has been broken through re in comparison to the rest of the tunnel recently? Um, it looks like there was probably, like, it does look like. Actually, as you kind of look down, you can see there was probably once like a store, like a basement, like almost like a tiny cellar that was built into the room, but that flooring has all been knocked away and all the brickwork has been knocked away. Okay. Um, so they have found it purposefully to use it yeah, and just opened it up be. again. It's like, bloody hell. I mean, those tunnels lead anywhere. Like, they could have taken them anywhere in the city. Is there any sort of mapping for this kind of... <laughs> No, like sadly ancient not. scrolls from the libraries, or no, not really. Uh, most of that was lost during the lightfall. Um, that's why it was all built on the remnants. The only people that would really know how to navigate these tunnels are the old thieves' guild members. They have a special language, uh, symbols, uh, hand signs that they can use. Most of them would navigate it through that. That said, quite a few of them are blocked off now. It might be that it will only lead one way. I don't know. Or well, there's two directions down there. But would they have taken the time to open up anything that they would, didn't need? 
possibly not. I, I mean, we can Although, always, now that my men are here, I can have my men escort Cassandra and the Snake Man back to Champion's Hold. We can make sure they're locked up. Cassandra can acquire some of the priests of um, Bahamut to perform rites or something, I don't know, and make sure he's not some evil sorcerer or something. And then me and the other lads can go one way, and you four go the other way, see what we find. Are you sure you're up to this, Dermot? I've got to be. There is one concern that this raises. If there were mm. passages all over the city, do any of them lead back and have the Broken Sky infiltrated into Champion's Hold? It's possible. Champion's Hold was one of the first buildings built. And it was built on most of the... What was left, like most of the buildings are actually still part of the old city. It was kind of built around what structures still remained. Most of this would have been sort of old slums that kind of fell into the ground and things like that. There was um, a big sinkhole in the area. It sunk a lot of the old city. There's probably old streets, if nothing else. Weird. Yeah. Well, let's do that then. Let's cover both bases. It's worth mentioning, Dermot, these snakes have uh, mind abilities. That is good to know. They can As charm. In, they can charm. Right, in that case, Cassandra and three of my men will go with them, because then if he charms one, the others can jump on him, basically, and make sure he doesn't do anything. It's okay, just use a mirror mind. Trust me, I know how to use that. What? They can also poison. Oh, I'm too tired for this. Poison? Mm -hmm. What, like, naturally? To, what, out of his skin? No, he had vials. I gave... I found some vials. Can I take the... Oh, this will be good evidence for me to take, if I you may. Can take one of them? <sighs> like, the guards with him, he's like, no, I need to take both of them. Fine. He takes both. And then he kind of puts his hands in his pockets and then he brings his hands up again and he's like, good work, Reynard, and he goes to shake your hand. Thank you, Dermot. And as he shakes your hand, he palms you one of the vials back. Ah. Uh, I'll take those to evidence. Take both, yes. Yes. Both of the vials. <laughs> um, the other soldiers don't seem to notice that something's going on. Right, they're pretty dumb. Dermot's Save the children. Crazy. Save the world. Yeah, he's bald. He looks like kind of like a Vinnie Jones-esque kind of thug. Um, he does not look like he should be in a position of authority. He's kind of got like boxer's ears, kind of broken nose, big sort of flat chin. I'm just like, you know, I'm listening to all this. I'm just going to hold up my chinchilla and just go, they kind of look the same. <laughs> what? The chinchilla is a lot cuter than Dermot. But Dermot's pretty ra ugly. It's, round, it's very round. It's there is a ears. roundness and it does have big ears. And Dermot's very furry and a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? Yeah. Yes. All right. I'm more than happy to move along. Okay, Cassandra. And he turns around. He's like, Gleb, take them with her. You go take those two back to Champions Hall. Are you okay? Did she you turns rest? around and she's like, I actually barely got touched. I was mainly either healing you or trying to deal with the swarm of snakes that were surrounding you at the time. Okay. I'm fine. Is there any way we commu communicate as... I don't know if there's much. Um, if you find anything, come find me at the temple. Right. Or I can come meet you back <coughs> wherever you're now staying. I don't actually know where you're staying. Uh, the pub. Is the temple in the center? The temple is near Champion's Hall. It's not in Champion's Hall. Okay. Where is the tavern in relation to... The tavern channel? is on Genuine's Way. So it's quite far. It's oh, close to where you guys well, are currently, but it's far it's from, far from Champions the Champions yes. Hold, yeah. Okay. We, we'll, we'll find you. We know where you are. We need to send a message about Animal Messenger, so I could send the... Uh, True. Chinchilla. Okay. If, if, if you'll allow it. <laughs> Sandra's like, wouldn't that take a very long time? They don't move particularly quickly, I don't think. I don't know. I've never a had A bird one. might be a better idea. I'll find a bird. Probably. Yeah. Underground. Very well. Uh, I'm assuming Another you will mole. return to the surface and then send a message. We'll find a bird down there. I will head back with this, and she kicks the snake man uh, to ensure that he does not perform any of his mind influencing tricks. And the, the clerics will probe him for information as well. So you're going? Yes. You're not I'm going. not coming with you, no. You're not going with the Derma group. No. I'm taking him back to Champion's Hall. Can right. I keep the hand? I don't think why you would should. You, why would you do that? Can I slap his arm? It's like really good for gestures. Yeah, do you and hold on to it? No, probably not. Actually. <laughs> do you just <laughs> slap it out of your hands? Oh. Have some respect for the dead. Dermot, Evil would dead. you like to take the body with you? Uh, he or looks around at like the entirely demolished store and the dead Malisons and like the other snake men. He's like. I'll probably send a cleanup crew to deal with this. Uh, we'll probably send some of the, the graveyard districts. The original owner is in jail, apparently. 
Really? You may, you may well, know we him. had his name, didn't we? Jace. Jace. No. Benjen. Jace was the name of that oh, guy. Ben, yeah, Benjen. Ben 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 I'll look into ben it. Ben uh, I mean, I don't... The, the, the wardens will look after that. I don't personally yeah. deal with I'm just saying he may know more about this trapdoor and... Sure. I'll, like I'll have some men ask him. Okay. I'll send some men to the prison. They'll cast in the temple. Sure. All right. Which way do you want to go? Left or right? Uh... Throw the hand down, and wherever the hand lands, that's where we'll go. <laughs> lands on the <laughs> left. Left it is. Then. The hand speaks. All right. Uh, <laughs> so you guys make your way down, right? Mm -hmm. So the others will go out. Dermot leads his crew. They pull out um, hooded lanterns, light them with oil and things like that, kind of like micro little tiny lanterns on their belts. Um, and the dark corridor kind of stretches off. I'm assuming you've got Nimbus and the Moonbow to light the way, mm -hmm. and so that Reynard doesn't shit himself. Yes. Um, we do have a lantern, actually. Yeah, the trail, the, the tunnels weave throughout the city, and yeah, as you're going along, bear in mind what Dermot said, whilst it has this kind of ceiling, this kind of bricked masonry ceiling, um, there are support pillars every now and again, kind of holding up what you assume to be the actual streets of Talis Val. But there is an eerie resemblance. These almost look like underneath kind of hollowed out shops you can almost see, like wreckage, ruins almost. Like old Edinburgh. Oh, like yeah. All beneath the town. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So kind of all just beneath the city, these ancient streets weaving back and forth. Any passages that turn off most either look like that they've been filled in by, you know, years of, you know, rock slides or were filled in by the original builders. Um, but you do see wall sconces every now and again. And in actual fact, give me survival checks. You fail and die. Um, oh shit. I got Ten. a really high survival. So high. 15. 14. 27. Well, uh, 15. 15. 27. The four of you are kind of. You're not getting lost per se, but it is kind of hard to keep your bearings down here. Um, and you're trying to just follow the main path and make sure you don't get turned around. It, Laura, you're the one that notices the tracks. Um, it looks like. There's dirt on the floor, and there's no footprints, but you're actually noticing kind of a slithered path. Yes. And obviously, knowing what you know about the snake men, it does look like a large snake kind of wove its way through the tunnel, and you start following this trail. Um, it turns off down a couple of the different passageways, and you walk for what feels like a good few hours. It takes you a long old time to get through. Every now and again, you see that there are almost like little uh, stop points, uh, stu uh, stacked up ancient looking barrels with things like a small candle, a water skin, um, maybe some like crumbs of rations or something like that that have been left. But eventually, you come across a, uh, another rickety wooden ladder leading up to what appears to be another trapdoor. Beside the ladder, there are a number of things. There are three large shadow bags, look like that they would be placed on the back of a horse. Silk ropes, um, kind of like hung up neatly. They look quite soft, but they're quite small. They're not like 50 foot. We're talking like maybe sort of this much, you know, of silk rope kind of like draped up. And there also appears to be um, a metal tube, maybe about sort of the length of a dagger, um, quite thick and cylindrical with a lens, almost like a, a glass see-through lens just resting on a, on, a, on a crate that's been discarded to the side. It's like nothing you've seen before, almost like a polished metal tube with a glass lens. I know what this is. I'm going to pick it up. Mm -hmm. It's one of those fancy cups. That you put. So you take the, the thing off? Yeah. The, the glass lid? Yeah, and as you do that, you look inside and there's almost like a faint glowing speck of light that as you move the the the, um, the tube it stays inside. See the thing is you, you fill it up and then you can make sure that you've still got liquid in the bottom. I'm pretty sure can that's I what that's for. You can make an intelligence check to see when You can make intelligence or arcana is. check. Or here, no, heart, sorry, arcana or history. No. You've never seen anything like this before. Can I have a little looky for history? Yeah, you guys, anybody can make the check. 14. Natural 20. 20. You just, you're assuming no, this, a, this is a couple of my knowledge that <laughs> I have. Juto? 14. 14. Um, Juto, you've, you're not quite sure when, probably in your travels leaving Brasaris, um, you do know that the, there are a lot of strange devices out there that uh, were recovered or scavenged more likely from the city of First Light, this kind of ancient mage capital of, of what was the land before, uh, before the Dawn Republic. Um, 
And often they would have strange like metal contraptions and devices that had sort of magical, wondrous magical properties. Reynard, you know quite a lot more about this. Kind of the, the, the city of First Light has always been a fascination, especially to the people of the Dawn Republic and Talis Val. Um, this, you know, this empiric uh, metropolis, this huge city, three times the size of Talis Val, that was obliterated during the light fall. I mean, every living thing in it killed. Um, but the city itself, before the Lightfall, was supposed to be this place of wonder and enlightenment, and they created strange devices, light sources that would never go out, portable heat that you could would keep you warm no matter where you go, um, metal men that walked around and would carry things for you, carriages that needed no horses to pull them, um, uh, devices that you could speak into and other people on the other side of the city could hear you. These, all these kind of wonderful inventions, not quite magic items, not quite, you know, a, a powerful sword or, you know, a, a magic shield that could reflect spells, but useful things that the people would just have in their day to day. You are certain that one of this device has come from First Light and is one of these inventions. You probably imagine that it's some sort of like portable light source, almost like a lantern that would never go out or need oil. I'm going to start opening my water skin and start to... Can wait, uh, can I take it off? <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you guys. Whoa, whoa, I'm thirsty. Uh, it's, I, I don't think... This may be a magical-ish item. Can I just fiddle, like see if there's anything I can like Well, turn? he's currently holding it. Oh. Can I yank it off then? Yeah. Give me a um, strength check. <laughs> Are you really fighting me over this one? <laughs> Shit. 19. <laughs> you just snatch it out of his hands. Like, oh! <laughs> like you're holding your water skin, you spill a bit on yourself. The hell, um, man? I want to like fiddle with bits, see if there's anything I can turn. Like, yeah, switch. in fact there is. At the very on, the opposite end that can turn, you put the lens back on and you flick it around and this beam of light just... <laughs> oh, um, it's one of those shines, shines like out. Right into a, a torch, effectively. Uh, oh, quite a powerful cut you can see in the dark. Swing it around a little okay, bit, point into it. his face. Yeah, yeah, point uh, into his face is quite blinding. Stop it. Um, Lights. Is, oh, yeah. Not a, it's so you can find your cup in the dark. <laughs> Hang on. You said this was a cup. It is a cup, and you can find it in the dark with that light. Oh, I see. So let me fill it with water. No, no, wait, no, hang on. Can I, I'm pretty not. sure it's just a light. What? investigate the saddlebags while these guys are Yes, waiting. you can. So if you check out the saddlebags, um, you find that inside there are probably supplies for a four, four to five day trip for three people. Um, rations, water, um, traveling cloaks, two of which probably look children sized, like, you know, you know teenager at most. Um, or halfling. Yeah, or halfling. Um, yeah, there is also uh, the, the silk ropes definitely seem to be cut to a certain size. There is also, inside the saddlebags, uh, two elegant-looking pearlescent um, vials um, that you kind of seem strange. Well, probably enough, enough in each liquid um, for maybe three or four doses if you were to pour into water or something. What's this, Laura? Oh, the Juto is found. I'll have a look. Give me a nature check. Natural 20. Ooh. Smelling it. It has, you kind of give it a sniff. It, this is almost certainly um, what they call dream berry. It's kind of like a liquid form. It's like distilled. Um, it's a very powerful uh, knockout for like poison. Uh, it would, anybody who ingests it would almost immediately fall asleep um, for a long period of time. I, I shall relay that to the people. Do you reckon they knocked people? out the children to uh, subdue they'd, them? They'd probably be knocked out for a day, two, maybe in children or something like that. The tunnels, the snake man, the trail that we were following. Or just carried them all here. And yeah, the supplies is definitely for a three or four day trip. Um, I relay that to the group. So they're keeping them alive. I assume. Um, did you say this was by a ladder? Yes, so, like, leading up, up to a trapdoor. How does a snake go up a ladder? Well, it seems like they can Snakes transform. and ladders. <laughs> so this torch, is it? Does it go quite far down the tunnel as well? Yeah, it yeah, it's, it's, it's about a good sort of like 30, 40 feet of, of strong light, but it's very narrow, so you could almost, you could hide it in a way, sort of like you could turn it around and it would stop illuminating. And when it's off, is it like completely off or is it just like a... Yeah, no, it's completely off. Like okay. there's a tiny speck, but it doesn't actually emit light. It's almost like a little magical glow, but it doesn't extend past the lens. Okay. Once we get back, we can celebrate with some wine in it. Um, try. <laughs> what you said the the rope looks like it's been cut to specific lengths. Mm -hmm. 
Is there anything magical about the rope or anything? No, is it just nice? It's, it's, it's very nice. soft. Um, looks like it wouldn't rub or like injure or something like that. Like silk. It's like silk rope. Does it seem like there's two that is one particular length and one that's... How many did you say there were? Three? Uh, this is a selection. Um, mm. is, I'd say there's four. Four ropes. wonder if they're used to tie up hands. Potentially. Legs. And it's silk as well to not maybe hurt them or it's... Or show any signs that oh. they've been... They're being very careful and uh, coordinated about this. Especially if they're using these tunnels to navigate the city. Maybe they've hired the snake people to take them for Broken Sky for well, their nefarious have. needs. Mm. It's all coming together in Cam's mm. mind. Um, is there pass. any? <laughs> is there any kind of light from the door above? Or no, it seems just sealed. Does it look any like traps or? Ah, uh, you can give me an investigation yeah. or perception. Shall I use fine traps? You can cast fine traps if you'd like. I would like to cast fine traps. Sixteen. Wording on fine traps. So sixteen. What's the rest of everybody got? Eight. I got pretty solid. Four. Four. You cannot um, find any traps. Reynard cannot find any traps. Yeah, there's. Let me. So you don't see anything for sure. Like you're looking at the ladder and the trap door. Like there's nothing really. To suggest that there would be anything there. Was I just wanted to check on the actual wording of fine traps. Was the trap. film above the trap floor or underneath it when you opened it? It was above to stop someone coming down. So we couldn't see it from here. We'd have there would be above the trap door. But you would have to contact it directly. So if you push okay. from below, um, Reynard, you wouldn't touch You it. get the sense that yes, but the yes. Um, the the trap door above. Um, there is something about the handle that you think is is dangerous. The Trapped. handle on the top, or oh, the one that you would need to twist and push open. Ah. Okay. Is there any sense that it's magical, or is it uh, more the of fine track? It does. The spell doesn't reveal that. It just basically reveals any kind of harmful effect that has been like left as a sort of trap. Or imagine something. called that arm. Yes. <laughs> but everyone wanted me to respect the dead. <laughs> Um, Juto. <laughs> I can, uh, can I uh, try regret. and take a look at it. <laughs> so you should. That, not touch okay, it, I'm but sorry. just okay. look at the handle. When you get close to your passive perception, now that you're actively looking at it, it seems that the, there is a very, very fine liquid applied to the handle. So uh, just like the other similar. one. similar. Yeah. It's the poison again. If we just use a cloth or something, we can... Juto we'll is probably... immune to poison. <laughs> Are you uh, completely immune? Yes! Just... Yep. Do it. I keep saying it. I'm... Do it. <laughs> I, mean, touch the I was trying to say it when this guy was hacking off like people's bits. It may not be poison. At tenth yeah, level, your be. mastery of the key flowing through you makes you immune to disease and poison. Touch it might it. not be poison. Use That's a chinchilla. Oh yeah. It looks the same just as to be the other safe, one. could you not wrap some rope around your hand and just? Can I please wrap some silk rope around my hand and go up and open the door? Yep. So as you touch it, yeah, you kind of sense that there's some sort of like contact poison on it. You just turn it, it's a bit stiff, but yeah, as you open it, you can see that the, the sides has been filled in with dirt from above, so it, it kind of sealed it shut. Um, grass and mud begin falling in, and as you open, you actually open up onto blue sky, um, and as you kind of look out, you're on the outside wall, outside of Tarsvar itself. Ooh, um, if I peek up, can I see you look anything? So you look out, you can you see look out on grass fields, you can see the Shard Lake far off in the distance. Um, and that's pretty much where you can see a cops of trees nearby and things like that. As you get to the top, give me a survival check. Oh my good God. You eat grass and we die. Can we hear anything coming from up the open door? No. No. Uh, 11. 11? No, you can't see anything like, it doesn't seem strange. There's no strange, like you can hear birds singing and things like that. Um, but you get to the top and yeah, there's nothing odd. It just looks like it opens out onto the outside of the city. I will clamber out. Okay, Juto clambers out. I'll follow. Mm. Cheetos that outside? Yes. It is quite pleasant. So this is where they've been sneaking things into the city. All right. And out. And out. So Reynard goes up. Reynard, give me a um, survival check. Or perception. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I imagine it's the same. Nine. For you. And I've got seven on survival, three on perception. Okay, wait, it both will work, so. Uh, nine? Yeah, nine. No. I'll go up. Okay, so both of you go up, give me perception checks, or survival Ooh. checks, whichever is higher. 24! 
25. Yeah. <laughs> when you've been a hustler, you're And then like, Katie's just like, 25. 25. Uh, so the two of you, as you get uh-huh. up, um, you kind of make your way out, and you two notice it. These two are kind of like paying attention to the outside, but as you kind of stand up, you look. There is very clearly horse tracks that lead up to this trap door. Um, there's horse tracks, like heavy set hoof prints. The rain, recent rains and things like that have probably kind of dulled them a little bit, but they lead out and away, and and they seem to be heading south of the Shard Lake, almost as if they were heading uh, to head round um, towards to first places like Faden, and possibly if they followed the river, they could go to First Light. Faden. Huh. Huh. I believe that if there is an artifact here from First Light, perhaps that is where they headed. You know that on the outskirts of First Light, a new settlement was established about 20 years ago called New Light, um, which is still quite a little ramshackle town, but it's kind of built on the borders of the sort of dodgy magic zones and where right. monsters are. Um, so the snake people have hooves. If, uh, if there were supplies inside the tunnel ready for someone to leave, doesn't that mean that there's someone currently in the city ready to leave? Maybe the snake people were the inside... Waiting job because the they were disguised or maybe Dermot's found the other end of this tunnel and it's not the snake people but it goes somewhere else as well but it does seem like they were prepared to leave and I agree it does seem if they have something from first light this would these tracks would lead them there did the tracks the look like they were avoiding. going the same direction as us towards coming this and going coming and going Seems like they were leaving them outside. With the 25, you can tell that it's probably uh, one horse and maybe another horse or a, a pony um, hmm. that came and went. Do they look recent? Can 25 tell that? Can the 25 tell me? Within the last week. You know, Seems like worn, first worn lay, tracks, but not fresh. Could a 25 tell if the ones coming in are more recent than the ones going out? Deeper. I'd say 25 is very high. I would say Elora, Cam wouldn't have got this, but with a 25, I'd say it's the next 24. region. <laughs> yeah, but 25 yeah, is like, if you <laughs> divided it up. I would say, here's, here's some bonus facts for Elora. So you know that the ones leaving are more recent than the ones arriving. Okay. You also know that when it arrived, the tracks were not as deep, they were lighter. And when they left, they were heavier, especially the smaller horse, the pony, much heavier, deeper tracks. So they've taken things out of the city recently. They came here with no cargo and they left with cargo oh. in that direction. The snakes with hooves with snakes came have in, hooves. It was a horse. ate a lot and went away that with a the full l- belly. Definitely likely. Thank you, Cam. Yes. That's why I'm here. Uh, in of nine. <laughs> <laughs> really coming into play there. <clears throat> Not quite grog, but so if, they're, if they're hungry. <laughs> Not quite grog. They won't but be hungry clip. for a while, and we could probably catch up to them if they're heavier now. That, it was about a week ago. The question is, it's not. It's not I know within that, the past because I was looking at the tracks. Do we return to Dermot and Cassandra and report our intelligence, or do we head out on our own? I think we see where else this tunnel goes to, because it might not have just been. This one place. We almost definitely need to let them know there's a. We need to let them know. In and out of the city. To secure this passage. Do we block this trap door? Yes. No. Because they will know we've been there. All right. I think let's they're make it look like we might know that because we destroyed their. Shrubs. We did destroy their storefront. I think they're killing a aware. lot of snake men. So we may as well sabotage the whole thing. Fair play. Okay. They won't know who it is. Well, they the know door. who it is. Do you want to like kick it no. so it breaks and leaves no. it open? No. 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 no, I'm going to stop him. No. I, no. Mean, <laughs> I don't think Cam's strong enough to have done enough damage like in a few seconds. Like you kind of like kick it the wood splinters a bit, but that's about it. Yeah. Um, and you actually notice that there is um, probably when Juto pushed it up, there's like a grass covering that fell to the side that kind of keeps it hidden from obvious quick quick look. Would it be useless to lie in wait for anything that comes out? Potentially, because they may have already. Does that work? It may have been that the snake people were going to were going to be the ones that left with these other supplies. So I think we should go back and see if there's any further buildings. They may have been operating at other 
shops oh, there's tunnels and all over well. the place, so... But it seems like they're all blocked up except the ones that have been in use by these people. Mm. We could just pretend we never found the trap door, go back and cover it up like we never saw it in the shop. How did a snake person climb a ladder? Did, did you see them transform, Cam? Hmm? You know? They oh, were... Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Just me. But what about the one with snake arms? Like, does he use the mouths to, like, climb the rungs? That's I would if I was weird. him. You would. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how far... I mean, I'm not even going to... Yeah. I speculate all you like. <laughs> I'm going to leave that as a mystery for Cam Buckley. <laughs> a bit of... And Chris Tron. Yeah. Is there any? Are there any? <laughs> it's a very blurred line. <laughs> I live with it, and I can't tell. Um, <laughs> what would you like to do? Is there another Please. entrance to tell? Is how close is this trap door to any entrances so, into the city? There are two main entrances to the city: north yeah. and south gate. You are probably mm. <laughs> <laughs> on a clock facing. You'd be like the seven o'clock, if twelve and six are the north and south gate. You're like right. seven eight. So we're just off to the side of the south. Okay. To the side of the south gate. Yeah. Okay, so it's not like completely around. It just looks like a sneaky way in the city. Okay. It's still quite far, I guess, if the city's that large. Yeah, it's well out of yeah. like oh, the, okay. the, you can't like guards wouldn't see you from like the watchtowers right. and the gates and things like that. Um, the trapdoor is actually conveniently positioned where a large kind of portion of the watchtower comes out, like the walls above. Like a large stone bit comes out, it's almost like a parapet, and it's actually situated directly below. Right. So it actually looks like it's been built so that anybody on that parapet wouldn't notice you getting out underneath the underneath. Clever. It. But could the people in that see the people no. travelling? They could see them no, travelling no. if they obviously if they didn't time yeah, it correctly yeah. or if they misplayed themselves. Yeah. Uh, I but travellers on a horse like coming up to the city, it's not it super like, unheard of. Could look like they're coming out of the south gate as well. Yeah. They mm. kind of just go in a little mm. bit. I actually I tell a lie. There is also an east and west gate, but you'd be halfway between west and south. Okay. Um, I would like to investigate the other tunnel, or at least is there reconvene with Dylan. Yeah, we can go to the temple of Bahamut. If Bahamut. we were to go through Bahamut. the south gate, which we're closer Bahamut. to, is that closer to Champions Hold, etc.? No. no, is that the other side? Champions Hold is bang in the middle. Okay, so, but it would be quicker to go through the city than it would be to go through the tunnels again. Yeah, just because the tunnels wind so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... I don't like it down there anyway. We should travel through the city, get back to the start point, it'll be quicker that way. Very do well. you, and now, do you want to go directly to Champions Hold, or do you want to go back to the store and go down the ladder and check out the other tunnel? Because that's the bit I'm confused about what you want to do. Because <laughs> Kim's saying she wants to do the tunnel. I think... We report to Dermot. If we report to Dermot, 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 Dermot is down the tunnel. He's already done the job. So, let's go... To the shop. Shall we block the trap door? If you're going to do that, going through the tunnels will probably be quicker because really? by the time you get to that, you've got to go into the store, go to find the the, the plaza where it was, go down and then start off. You I can see. probably make it in the same amount of okay. time. By we the time you the... queue, because you also, the other problem with the gate is you actually have oh. to like queue up with the peasantry going in and out and things like that. We'll Would go back. tempted to say that we leave the tunnel as if it's been untouched and unfound, have people with constant watch over it so it, we could probably catch the people in the act? So that we have to go back to the shop. Can we go to the guard tower mm -hmm. that's closest? Mm -hmm. Or is there, there's one above, you said? It's, it, well, it's right not a guard above. tower, it's or like a parapet, basically. You, you, the towers are by the gates. Okay. Um, but there's guards sometimes there, though. The, the, the patrols man the gates. Yeah, like, yeah. They wander the walls so, and like keep an eye out and go like, no, 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 no funny the, shit. Shout to the guard that's they, the there, You can't see if the, you don't know if there's a guard uh, up there right now. Also, Hello. they're not going to take orders from us. We need to go to Dome. If there's a trap door there, they'll, they'll need to cover it. And they're going to question us why we came out the trap door. It's going to cause a hole. They know who, most of the people in the city know who we are. Yeah, but not for if good reasons. If we tell Dermot, Dermot will order his men to do it. It's just more if anyone tries to get in or out while we travel. To make somebody in the city aware that it's there. It's your call. Hello. There's there no nobody. Response. Hello! Just a little louder. <laughs> We'd have to go in, go up the wall. We could just meet Dermot in that time. Yeah. Fine, fine. We go to the temple. I'm just saying, it leaves it open. <laughs> so again, I'm hearing different things about where you want to go. Where are you going as a group? Decide as a group where you would like to go. Cam would like to go to the temple where we meet Dermot and then can... He's not sort. in the temple. That's where we're Cassandra's in the temple. Cassandra's in the temple. Yeah, but we'd say to everybody that we'd meet at the temple, right? 
Well, he went the other No, you said to Cassandra you'd meet at the temple. Who's Fairling to Dermot? Dermot's just investigating. Dermot's doing his job. Let's go meet Dermot. Okay. We'd have to go to the tunnel. To the store. And through the tunnels. And you want to go through the tunnels to do that, or you want to cover it up and then go through the gates? Just so I know. Because gates were taken. Yeah, let's go back through the tunnels, because if we meet anyone on the way, then we know they're coming. Okay. So you're going to climb back in, you pull the kind of cover over, you shut the the, the, uh, thingy. Um, I'm going to assume you know the poison is there, so you make take proper precautions with Juto being the one to close it, you make your way down. Um, what about the supplies? Now you took the torch, hmm. um, the vials you have, are you putting that stuff back or are you leaving didn't, it there? Didn't take the vials. Okay, you're just going to leave the vials. Yeah. What about well, the flash? It's going to oh. knock someone out though. I think they're going to know that we were here regardless. Did we? Were, have we been leaving tracks? If there was a there, snake trail, there's, then it's, it's a muddy, be... muddy dirt thing, so yeah. They, anybody anybody who can follow way. tracks would probably be able to spot them. They're going to know. Okay. So. You want to take stuff? Can I keep them? You got the vials. I didn't pick them up. I'll take the vials. Okay. So it's two knockout um, poisons. Okay. I'll take the silk ropes for reasons I don't need to explain. Explain, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, so you take the silk ropes. If there's anything left behind, can I like kind of knock it about so it looks like more it's, it's been, been looted than like, yeah, sure. you know? It's, it's mainly, it's mainly now food, water, um, traveling gear and stuff like that. Like you know, uh, fire like uh, flint and steel and camping wood and things like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you can just smash it all over the place. Smash, smash, smash. I replenish my clothes as well and then just like... Yeah, sure. Smash yeah, it. the food, the trail rations all look like decent sort of like trail rations for a normal person, not a snake man. So, okay. You guys make your way back through the tunnel. It takes you again a few hours. Um, it's kind of getting tricky to keep track of what time of day it is because you're underground. Um, Reynard now has his new little torch that he's shining all over the place and it illuminates the tunnels very nicely. Nice. It's almost like it's perfect for navigating these kind of places. Oh, um, you guys come to the ladder that led up to the shop and you go past that and you carry on. After maybe another hour, the tunnel splits in three ways. Oh, God. boy. <laughs> it's worth mentioning probably that Sorry, I've wait. got... We've gone back to the... You've Gone to the store, store, and then you carried on the way that Dermot and his team were going. I know, it's three separate ways. And then go. after about an hour, you kind of find most of the passages are blocked, it's Can all kind we, of weedy, uh, and then eventually it splits into a, a three way junction. Can I look for tracks? tracks? Four way junction. Yeah. Uh, tracks? Sure. Is it dirty the same? Perception? It is all dirt flooring, basically. No. Probably worth pointing out, I've got Natural Explorer, which means if we've been exploring for longer than an hour, we can't be lost except by magical means. Perfect. So you we can no risk of you guys way. getting lost. Yeah. <laughs> so <that's laughs> well, no, it is useful because down here, these passages all look very same in the dim light. It's yeah. easy to get turned around and things like that. But Reynard is, is keeping his bearings quite well. I've got a little breadcrumb. Um, <laughs> perception checks. What do people got on 18? 18? Oh. Highest one? 18. Reynard needs to see if he beats Cam. Perception. He might. 20. Yeah. One. 21. The two of you, there are tracks. <laughs> it's not incredibly useful because it looks like that the team split up yeah. and they took <sighs> each of the tunnels. They all split down. One thing I would say, 21 you got? Yeah. There is one set of boot prints <laughs> um, which doesn't quite match the rest. Um, heavier set man, you suspect it was probably Dermot and he went on straight ahead. Okay. Let's go for that. Do I know whose shoes it is? Uh, large. Large. <laughs> Let's go where Dermot went then. Dermot. Dermot went, to, went to the middle one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, let's go that way. I know that because I, I looked at the footprints. Okay. You guys make your way heading through the northern passageway, or not north, but like the most straight ahead passageway to you guys. It winds, weeds just like the rest. The sconces become more common here. Um, and actually, you can see that there are torches that have probably recently been burnt. Um, the other ones didn't seem to have any kind of light sources. These ones actually have kind of visible signs of you know people mm. placing flaming torches and things like that. There are quite a lot of tracks. Dermots soon get lost in amongst lots of boot prints coming and going. And eventually it leads to a... Um, you kind of come across a room. Uh, it was probably once a storeroom or something like that. It's built into a building. Um, there are ancient looking crates and things like that, most of which have been broken open, but you also see things like bed rolls, um, tents that have been pitched on sort of like the rough dirt ground. Um, there are you know, barrels of water that smells fairly fresh, and there is a set of stone staircases leading up to a door. So in the journey, we didn't walk past any like ladders or anything mm-hmm. like that. 
all of the other passages were just blocked off. They were mostly right. blocked off, yeah. You didn't see any other uh, ladders and things like Interesting. that. Interesting. The door uh, is ajar. Um, it looks like it's been opened. Um, and the, the various like campsites and things like that have been rummaged through. Is there any light coming from the open door? Very slight amount of light, slight. yes. Hmm. Is there any noise coming from around the door? Not directly outside of it. Maybe you can hear a faint murmur. Sort of right. like far away from wherever this door leads. Okay. Let's quietly look. Who's the quietest? Juto? What were you? <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm probably the quietest. I don't know if you have any training in it, but I'm, I'm a rogue plus now. Mm -hmm. I have. Oh, yeah, you are a rogue now, aren't you? Plus three still. Oh, okay, so no, you're not the quietest. It's Juto's to miss. Plus four. I'm Wait. probably the best trained here, so maybe I should go up. Plus three. You've got a chinchilla that can make noise. Who is going? What are you doing? That's what I want to know. That's what I really want to know. I can go invisible. That's true. Does That's it make your chinchilla invisible? It makes it whatever. Anything she her. carries, I will count the chinchilla as being invisible. Do it. Name is Ken. I will go invisible. Okay, so you cast, bring out the lost loot. Ding, 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 ding. And then you're invisible. <laughs> uh, whoosh, the oh. invisibility kind of cloaks you and surrounds you. Um, and then what, you want to just head up through, open the door? Yes, but cautiously. Okay, give me a stealth check. Just for your movement more than your uh, staying hidden. Thirteen. Thirteen. Mm. Fairly quietly. You, occasionally your footsteps, your slippers kind of scuff on the stone and things like that. You pull the door open, which creaks ever so slightly. And as you look in, it seems to lead into a um, very well-kept basement uh, full of racks upon racks of uh, um, you can see different sort of like vials and glass like almost in sheets and things like that um, that's being kept there vials mm -hmm. glass windows that sort of thing can I see any or hear any sign of Dermot? Uh, you can hear murmurs coming through um, the only real exit, there appears to be a heavy barred door, uh, which leads into, like, as you kind of explore it, you can see this kind of, like, it, was, it looks very dusty and old. Um, you can see this heavy barred door that seems to lead one way, but then there is another door that, uh, it's almost like a short staircase that leads up to, like, almost like a basement cellar. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that looks like the bar door is locked, so no one could have gone through it. it it's a heavy, thick yeah. beam. Um, it's quite dusty as well, cobwebs covering it. Um, but the, the, the door, the cellar doors, no cobwebs or anything yeah. like that. Can I try and open that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's um, a small latch on the inside, like a bolt latch and a, a padlock. Um, but the padlock is not there. It's been, it looks almost like it's been broken off. Mm -hmm. um, and as you open the doors, you actually look up and see Dermot standing there with uh, one of his uh, guardsmen um, conversing, basically. And there's a kind of a moment of like, what the? And you can see Dermot instantly goes to pull one of his daggers free. And he's like, oh, jeez. Whoa, gave me a heart. So, you can't oh, see. that's it. You're invisible. invisible. They're like, what the hell? And they're like looking around like at this is the door. It's just like, who's there? It's some sort of mage. And he's like literally getting both blades ready. And that's what you see. Would we have heard Dermot? Yeah, you hear a, a kind of cry of like, what the? Right, but it's murmured because you're kind of listening through the doors. Um, mm. Dermot looks around and then he like, he basically backs off um, and you can see he like gestures to the guardsman. He's like, fan out, fan out, somebody's here. And he's like looking around. What's your AC? Juto? 17. 17. And then with a sprint, he just wham! An elbow comes into the side of your head. Can um, I dodge? No, this, that was your AC. That's the point of it. He had disadvantage because he couldn't see you, but he made perception checks and still did it. 9, 10. Uh, 12 points of damage. It's like this elbow just like slams into the side of your head and you feel yourself stumble back. Um, that's the AC, that's the AC. You didn't say anything. Like, you didn't give me a chance to. Well, there was loads of chance to say something. <laughs> like, you were saying, chiller. well, you didn't say it. Fine. So he, was, he knew that there was an invisible thing there and being the kind of guy that he is, he thought it was something, edge. it's also potentially an attacker for the broken sky. They can be invisible. Mm. So well, I guess that knocks me out of um, invisible air. 
Uh, no, it doesn't. Not until you attack. No, he's just like looking around now. Now he's trying to work out wherever this. He's felt that he's connected with something, but now he's trying to reposition himself. So he knocked my head. Didn't he? he basically like elbowed you in the side of the face, basically. Ow! Can it's, I come out of invisibility? Yeah, you can cancel it any time. Yeah, I want to just cancel it. He's just. He takes a step back and he's like, "Oh bloody hell, Juto! Oh, I'm sorry." He like looks around. He's like, "I thought, fucking hell, I thought some broken sky sneaking up on me." You all right, and he offers like a hand and he kind of helps you up if you'd fallen down and stuff like that. Huh? Grudgingly take it. Yeah, he's just like, he's like, oh, sorry, I, I thought it was some. I, did you guys follow us through the tunnel? I thought you went the other way. Uh, we came to, well, a rather interesting conclusion to that path and we thought we would try and find you. Where are the others? Are they still down there? In the, uh, uh, yes, in the old cellar? We, we were being cautious. Wow. I yeah. must say, you have an amazing turn of speed for a man your size. Well, you've got to be, you know, I'm used to dealing, I had to deal with a lot of thieves guilds where people sneaking up on you in the middle of the night trying to put a blade against your throat in your bed. You develop some reflexes, that's all, and he kind of shrugs himself off. Um, I would be interested to spar with you one day. Uh, well, maybe, I think, I don't know. I still think that you'll probably kick my ass, but all right, maybe. I'm just going to do a little smile. Yeah, he like looks at you, he's like, um, you should probably get the others, we should talk about what we found. I've called for the others. Cool, I'm going to get up. Okay, so as you guys emerge now, now due to kind of you're taking the, the environments around, you are very, very close to Champion's Hold. You can see the building um, just behind uh, some fencing and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you seem to be on the back of an old sort of abandoned um, merchant's building. Um, it actually, you know, looking at it on the outside, it looks pristine. It looks, you know, like a, a, a workshop of some sort, well kept, well maintained, but. Uh, Dermot informs you, he's just like, I've already had, uh, we've already checked it out, it's empty, it's not been used in years, maybe two, three years or something like that. It's a little concerning being so close to the uh, hold. I think that this is probably where all of the things like the, the assassin from the, road, from the Feast of Stone, this is probably how they've been getting into the city rather than using the gate checks. Mm. Very concerning. There is, yes, the trapdoor does lead directly outside. Is that the really? Have you heard from the other men that went the other paths in your direction? No, no. I imagine they, it seems like they went off for quite some distance. Um, they're gonna, they'll probably head straight back to Champion's Hold and report on whatever they find there. I imagine they'll probably find very similar to something like this, um, ways into the city in different districts, things like that. Mm. What's, what do you reckon we should do? Should we close this off? I have to. It's a huge security risk if they're using this to get in and out of the city. There was, um, Who knows how many agents that they've smuggled through here? Yeah. There was supplies that were at the end of the tunnel that we found, and right. it looks like horse tracks have left with a large cargo load towards the Shard Lake within the past week, roughly. I also found this intriguing little number. He looks at it, he's like... Twist it yeah. on, twist it off, twist it on, twist it off. <laughs> Looky. The, uh, they both look at it, they're like, what is it, some sort of magic thing or something? It's a cup. It's a tall cup. Why has he got a light coming out of it? So Raynard, you can see it in the dark. Reynard mm, thinks it's from, from First Light. Yes. From First Light. I know, Which I've that read track of this. would take them to. Yeah, about four days travel. If they follow the Shard Lake and the river along the southern edge, it'll take them to New Light. Um, we don't then, know where they were going, but it was heading in the direction of the lake. I mean, there's two other options. They could have been going to... So they'll have to... If they go south, they'll be going to Faden. They could also be going to Briarcrest. Um, the next other big exactly. step would be New Light. But if they've got a device like that, you only get those from New Light. The scavengers find them and sell them. Well. Seems like they've been there at least. They well, already had dealings in Briarcrest. Mm. Well, Briarcrest has seceded from the Dawn Republic. It's trying to claim itself as an independent town. If you've got the tunnel situation under control, well, uh, I'm going to be bringing in some masons to block it all up, fill it in as best we can. There's the trap door near the south gate, about 7 o'clock, uh, on the city walls. Right next to the parapet. It's parapet. right underneath, a, a, yeah, it's very it's well hidden. Tunnels. All right, <coughs> I mean, funny. I'll have them probably follow the tunnels, yeah, and then we'll block it up once we've like flagged it or something like that. Will you be investigating the rest of the city for similar tunnels and bulb holes? We're going to have to. The problem is, is these tunnels, they're all over the place. There's networks of them. I can do my best, but we thought we found most of the, the actual um, exit, entrances and exits before. Obviously, either they've excava excavated some of these or they've found ones that we never got hold of. I know that some of the guilds have 
diverted their allegiance to the Broken Sky. Maybe a few of them kept some secrets, kept a few to keep themselves going in and out of the city after we got rid of them. Might be wise to start with the members of the council that are guild leaders. Well, this is in one of their purviews. I'm going to be starting my investigations there, but I'm going to have to do it quietly. I think so. Don't I've actually, aware. there's a couple of, um, a couple of strange folk came by uh, while you guys were off at the store investigating. Mm. Two women, um, one called uh, Viathan and another called Trixani or something oh. like that, <laughs> said they'd spoken to their mistress, who is one of the masters of magic. I might use them. They seem to have a way of sneaking about and getting information that, well, I might draw some attention to. You know them? Yes. Yeah, they did mention that, they're well, <laughs> one of them said that she certainly knew Cam. Um, yep. She has a, a revenge pact against him. Ah, uh, yeah, well, doesn't everybody at this day and age? Did you deal with that fi fiery spirit that was trying to kill you? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. All done. Good. Yep. Well, that's well one less problem to worry about. One good thing about her, Trixani, is yeah. that she can disguise herself to look like anybody. Yeah, they mentioned very useful. illusionists, I believe, so they yes. can use that to their advantage. So very I think convincing from what we've seen. Good. Um, I'll set them investigating the good. council then. It sounds like they may be the best bet for uncovering anything that's anything dodgy there. Viathan, Viathan is a great rogue. Stealthy. Oh, okay. Hmm. Trixani's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, time. somebody has a crush on somebody, that's all I'm saying. Next Trixani. Time. <laughs> Next time you see Trixani, ask her to perform her Cam Buckland impression. Oh, you would oh, really I like will. it. That sounds like just the thing I need. So the children... Yes, we, we do have need to focus on that. And we're going What's your plan? Uh, chase the tracks. Right. Have you heard it from what? the other guards checking out the other two tracks? No, not yet, no. no we but I imagine that they probably lead to similar things like this. Old abandoned buildings that, you know, we figured have been in use but clearly aren't. Maybe being used as small headquarters, that sort of thing. Mm. Um, I imagine the most important one is the one that we found leading out. That's mm. the most that's the most important one. If we can deal with that then we can at least stop them from getting in that way. Knowing the broken sky, they'll probably still have ways in and out of the city, but the more we can limit the better. Um Thank you for helping with all this. It's been difficult recently, trying to keep peace in the city. Knowing that we've kind of got something like this under control, that's pretty useful. You should meet up with Cass. Uh, oh, yeah, we should. Get some rest um, and then set out when you're ready. Yeah. I'll be at Champion's Hold, but um, if you need to contact me, just get them. send a messenger from the front desk and I'll come meet you wherever you need. I'm going to put my, face, my hand on Dermot's face. Don't do that. That's all right. Just let it happen. I'm gonna heal him word in. I'm not okay. You like that? Just pep you up a little bit. I feel fine. <laughs> uh, I'm just tired. All right. I thought that thought that would help. I thought you understood how healing magic works. It doesn't help with tired. Does it not? No. No. I thought it made you, you know, a little little energy boost. That's what a coffee's for. Like a protein bar or something. No. That's no. not how it. Why do? You, how do you have these powers? You don't understand them. Born with them. Oh. Clearly I'm very special. Yeah, you're special, right? Dermot, would you yes. like to play with Yes. Sorry me? for punching you in the face, by the way. I, I, you don't sneak up on me. That's fine. Would you like to play with my chinchilla? No, Apparently I don't want to play with your chinchilla. Are a no. Great stress reliever and no. You're very stressed right I don't now. want to play with your chinchilla. Is that a euphemism? I don't want that to be a euphemism if that's a, a euphemism. euphemism. Don't ask Cam. I've got stuff to do. You know where to find me. I'll keep an eye on things here. Okay, we'll stay we'll safe find... though. If they've got agents in the city, who knows how many people they've got here? Yeah, they've got a true. lot of snake people. The snake people the, could have invaded. That is the also a worry. The, the fact that there are now snake men. men involved is a problem. Are you yeah. an agent? No. Keep on the lookout for snakes with hooves as well. Snake? What? Oh, I can't. We're I'm too go tired. I am going to go have a nap. <laughs> I'm going to try and like. He points to the guard. He's like, you. Go back to the station, tell them I'm, I don't know, talking to an informant. I'm going to go find a bar and have a sleep. Could you also tell that guard to order us some horses to leave town with? No, you can't get, I can't do that stuff for you anymore. Why not? Cam. Because you're not, the council doesn't want to work with you anymore. They don't like You have to go and sort your own horses Big D. out. I can't do it. I can't. Cam, we can try talking to <laughs> You've probably got more money than I have access to. You could probably fund half my soldiers for a year. Look at you, old sparkling dagger and your fancy clothing. I'm trying to cover it up. <laughs> God, I want to hand him 
a bit of gold. Prepare okay. some horses for the journey, would you? He like, looks at the gold, he's like, how much gold do you give him? 20. He's like, 20? I can get you probably a pony for this. What do you want? 21. No, it's like, <laughs> do, you, all right, well, do you want to buy a horse or rent horses? Whatever it takes. I'm going to need like, one, two, three, four, if there's four of you, like 200 gold for horses. You're making Dermot do this. No, not Dermot, the guard. Oh, all right, yeah, fine. He's we like, can, we can start, it's fine. He's Reynard, like, we'll start. Piles them back in. He's like, there's, just, there's stables all over the place. Go and buy your own old. I just didn't want to do it myself. <laughs> to the temple. So yeah, easy. can we go to the temple? Right. <laughs> I'm going to go find a bar. And Dan like, walks off and finds the nearest inn. And you imagine that he probably slumps down in a corner and tries to have a na- an hour's nap. <laughs> in a bar. Yeah, he basically <laughs> just like pauses, he gets a flat cap the out, he puts it over his head. And then just does this and then falls asleep. Cool. All right. I guess we head to the temple. Yes. The temple of uh, Bahumut uh, rises up like a shining Tavern. marble beacon, um, silver dragon emblem on the front as always, um, glittering in the fading sun now actually, it's beginning to get to near sundown. Um, and you see a number of the priests, um, a large congregation of people leave um, as they leave for the, just after sundown, after sermons, Oof, um, and the so priests well. are beginning to clear up and just clean the place. Um, a few of them recognize you. Um, uh, they bow deeply, um, and you actually see uh, Lady Amaryllis leaving uh, one of the, the rooms, um, and upon seeing you, she's just like, oh, my friends, and she wanders over, and she's like, it's so wonderful to see you again. Oh, I've been so too. busy with my work in the city. Mm-hmm. Um, How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good. And You're yourselves? You're very, so well, thank you. It's yes. like you always, always have a glow about you. Well, that will probably be, and she looks around, as you know, my nature uh, offers... Uh, a certain aura about me. If happiness were to coalesce into a bright light, it would be you. She bows her head very deeply, and it's just like, you are too kind, Camulus. I know. Um, wasted. I heard, wasted I heard. on these people. <laughs> she, like, raises an eyebrow, Lady Allura, and she kind of brings you... She, like, actually, she's like, you are looking taller and more... And she kind of, like, like squeezes your arm a little bit. She's just like, muscular? Hairy, too. Yes, your hair is... Um, this isn't some sort of condition. Do you need me to look at you? No. I can take you into a treatment room. No, if that's okay. I, I got a belt that that helps me to be stronger. And... Oh, I see. I have some sort of magic. Um, these things can be terribly cursed, you know. If, if you need me to remove it, I can. I, I can do that if you need me to. At the moment, I'm okay. Okay. But I will keep you if, updated. If, if the condition worsens, if you, if there's anything undue, if you find yourself with tendencies you don't feel are your own, please come and see me. These things can be dangerous. You understand? I'm gonna get out a really dark blade. It's like, look at this. I found this, and I hated you for a while, but now I don't. She looks at it, and she can see her physically recoiling. It's like, no, that blade. There's something dark about that. Please, Camus, put it away. Okay. I just thought you may know about it. No, no, there was something odd about it, however, some aura, I feel repulsed by it. I'm going to give it to Reynard. You can hold it for a second. No, I'm You're afraid, no, please, Don't go please. near her, Reynard. Whoa. Step back. Wait. Really far away. Hey. You've never met Lady Amarillith before, have no, you? Once before. Oh, okay, you did, yes. I think I said first things first, Amarillith to her, and no one okay. got it. No, I didn't get it. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, so obviously, uh, kind of tan skin with these kind of white and silver, like almost like tattoos, but almost like skin marks, like almost like a birthmark. Um, long, silvery white hair, large uh, chest, um, and very sort of full figure. Um, and she just, uh, yeah, just kind of this very, has an aura of sort of calm and serenity about her. Um, okay. But, she but yeah, she, right at now. the moment, she's very wary of the sword. Not you, it's just that whoever's the sword is, she's not comfortable around. Okay, put it my um, back. I hear you've been working with um, young uh, Lady Cassandra, uh, locating some wayward children is or she something. Here? Yes, she is. She is currently um, in prayers and speaking with uh, the high priest. It was not a pleasant conversation from what I heard, because Lady Cassandra was quite angry. Mm. Um, There's children missing, so... Yes, I, I, I don't like to gossip or, or listen, but I, had, I did hear a snippet of conversation as I went past. The High Priest does not want Lady Cassandra to leave the city. Um, with good. the dangers of the broken sky, he's worried that sending out such a powerful agent um, would be a risk, especially to the temple itself. Lady Cassandra is one of its foremost guardians. 
Um, I have tried to quell his uh, concerns, but he knows of my vow of pacifism and that I cannot fight back, so well, he is loath to lose her. If you can't convince him, then... I'm afraid not. Uh, he is he's a very powerful man and very attuned with Bahamut's ways. Maybe we could at least calm down Cass and make an if agreement. If you could, it would be greatly appreciated. Please, if you ever need anything, you may always come and see me as you wish. Um, have you seen uh, Sir Korak recently? Uh, when was the last time we saw him? He was sparring. yesterday. Mm, sparring, yeah. yeah. He was sparring yesterday. You haven't seen him today or anything? Not today. Ah, a shame. Why? I just wondered where he was, that was all. Um, haven't seen him Why? in a day or so. What is that? Hmm? Is that of interest? No, no, no reason, no. no just reason. wanted, like... Why did you Sometimes we, we discuss Bahamut together. Oh, just like religious stuff? Yes, yes. Purely religious. Uh, he comes to the temple sometimes. Are you implying he's missing? No, 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 no. I, I hope not. Do you think he may be missing? When was the last time you saw him? Uh, perhaps um, yesterday, early yesterday morning. Uh, he came for the morning prayers, and then you likely saw him after that sparring. He's fine, Juto. It's Korak. He's fine. I, I, I was just curious if you'd bumped into him, really. I don't know why. Can insight check for Yeah, you can insight check it. To do it. Yeah, wow. same. He's very Natural good. 20. <laughs> wow, well, I got crazy high as well. Like, yeah, well, 20. Yeah, you should make it because you won't necessarily know what Ilora's thinking. 20, unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. Uh, the three of you are pretty sure, like, the, the way that Lady Amarith talks about Korak, she's, um, she, you get the sense that she is fond of him in a certain yeah. regard. <laughs> He's boring. I, he, he doesn't talk very much. I wouldn't. I find him fascinating conversations. Oh, really? Uh, the stories he has of, of the founding of Talos Val and uh, everything he's accomplished. Um, yes, he is amazing, isn't he? Mm. He's is a, he is a great a inspiration man. to us all. What a real champion. I'm going to take forcibly the sword <laughs> off of you and storm away to Cass. Okay. Uh, Bye. <laughs> Cam just storms <laughs> off like a stroppy child. Um, as always, if you need anything, please come and see. If you happen to hear yes. any updates on my father from the Winter Spire, can you keep of me course, informed? Of course I will, yes. Korak and I, we are keeping our ears open for any messages that we hear. Um, I heard that you did receive a letter. Was that of any, of, uh, any information there that you may have? Promising. Um, there may be tracks. It, it shows signs that he might be sort of more able to control it. But I can, if you give me some time, I may have some... Bahamut may be able to help guide me in even at least trying to find him. Um, or at least know how he is faring. Um, i got to look up... Let me <laughs> consult my prayer book. <laughs> <laughs> Your what prayer book? My, cra- my Bahum- prayer book. Bahumut. My Bahumut, Bahumut prayer Bahumut. book. Bahamut's Guide to the World. <laughs> So, yeah, she could do that. That's a fourth level spell. Um, do, 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 do. I'm just playing with my yeah. You're just playing with your I would love beast. him and squeeze him and... <laughs> well, I wouldn't fluffy. squeeze him necessarily. And I will love him forever and ever. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. If I can, uh, with uh, a small offering, um, I can ask Bahamut a specific, a single question concerning a specific goal, an event, or an activity that might occur within seven days. I could ask, if you can think of something, I am more than happy to ask on Bahamut's behalf. Where he is? It would need to be, uh, my understanding is if we were to ask a question, and also you've stormed off, um, so no more talking from you. If I were to ask something, where is he? it may tell me where he may be in those seven days, but if he is on a, uh, an erratic path, that may change considerably. Also, Bahamut will not be able to predict the future. He will not be able to say where Althadon may be. He can only ask a direct question of what is now. Um, even something as simple as, is he well? Uh, is he in danger? I can ask that if you wish. What would you require? Um, um, about 25 gold's worth of uh, silver. Yep, uh, that's fine. Or platinum. Small platinum figurine. Do you wish me to do this now? How long does it take? Uh, it takes me but a moment. Uh, yes, if if you want to see Cassandra, you can. If it would be more helpful. 
But I, I think it's best like if I speak with Laura and then mm. we cast this. I bow and wander off after Sulky Pants. She, Lady Emerith. <coughs> uh, Mr. Ferrahorn, perhaps you should go with Miss Jing. Oh, I will follow. I was going to say, uh, if it's yes. tales, as you like, then I've got many to share. Maybe we should. Uh, I come back and I just like grab his ear. We can meet up. We're staying in the tavern. She's just like, oh, that sounds wonderful. I'll That's see like you. in pure innocence. Goodbye. Uh, as you drag him off, so she leads you into a small prayer room, uh, shrine of a silver of the platinum dragon. Um, there, um, there are two kind of cushions to kneel at, and you can see that there's a small shrine that she places a, a bowl, a platinum, a, a kind of platinum engraved bowl, a platinum coated, um, places powdered sort of like silver and things like that. Uh, it's 25 GP, um, so just mark that off. Um, and yeah, she says, I want you to concentrate on your father, um, imagine it, and I will ask the question and refer to you what Bahamut says. I cannot promise a good answer, Lady Galamadel. You understand that, yes? Very well. Um, you take a moment. Lady Amarillith, you see her eyes flick to her draconic eyes for a moment, the kind of these silvery Ugh. reptilian eyes, and under her breath she begins speaking in draconic, kind of speaking this long flowing language, and the room begins to grow hazy and kind of fill with a, a silvery mist, um, and, and a glow begins to emanate from her. He is ready. What do you wish to ask? Is my father in danger? Is Alphadon Galanadel, father of Elora Galanadel, in any danger, my gracious lord? And then she, her eyes seem to go pure white for a moment, suck in of air, and then the room, whoosh, the mist shrouds, and she lets go. And you can see that she kind of hesitates to look at you, and there is a small tear kind of welling up in her eye. Um, and she says, and I need to work this out because it has a very specific way that the reply is done. Um, or he's holding for impact. I've got to think. I've got to think. What's he done? <laughs> the lone wolf is pursued by the daughter who lost everything but gained what the demons disposed of. The, the daughter that Demon lost singular. Everything. everything but gained. But gained. Cormorant! <laughs> what the demons disposed of. Demon singular. I'm so sorry. The cryptic nature is the way of the gods sometimes, but it is not good. Does this mean something to you? Did you see our tiefling friend with a bracer? I think you got rid of it before you found her. Like, no, no, I don't remember Juto having such a, an item. Um, she had a bracer, it was demonic. It, um, demonic? It was cursed and it was controlling her, but it... F we don't know who has it now, but it's disappeared from this realm. Mm. If it's back... Yes. Then it will likely be angry at me. I'm, it didn't like me. I'm sorry, I wish... Uh, I'm afraid that I do not have any specifics I can share. Um, the spell, I'm afraid, I must wait at least a month before I can cast this once more. Um, continued use of it, Bahamut may not answer it if I cast it again. Thank you for your help. No, please, anything I can do to help you. You saved me from a lifetime of being out of time. Anything I can do to help. I think I'm going to um, write the, to Nalistri about this. That sounds wise. His people have been following him and he, he should know. Um, yes. He cares greatly for your father, I'm sure. 
I'm just going to try a little smile and then leave. Yeah, you kind of, and she kind of sees you for a moment and she looks like she's about to hug you but kind of senses that you want to leave and she just bows her head and you get up and leave and she goes back to prayer. Uh, those of you who went to find Cassandra, you, you don't find it, you kind of wander these temple halls for a moment and then you just hear a door slam and brick being sort of like punched. Um, there she is. And then, yeah, you see a furious looking Cassandra storming down the corridors. She's like, yeah. What did you find? Tell me. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. I guess it's fine. Uh, we found a trap Don't door. Test me. Going yes, tra- trap door, yes. Yep, leading, leading outside. outside, south gate, and horse tracks. Do you think that that's where they did they take the children that way? Do you think that that's how they got them out of the city? I tracked with my incredible survival skill. Alora helped a little bit, but mm. not much. And I don't need enough of your bragging, Buckland. <clears throat> Tell me. They left with something heavier than what they came with. Probably the children. And there's saddlebags <sighs> with rations and sl- silk ropes. and uh, To keep them something gagged or something. Ah! And potions to keep them unconscious. But we also found this torch thing, which is a relic from... <laughs> Everyone's just making <laughs> What is this? I have thing? no idea what that is. It's a relic <laughs> from First Light. So is, is that where they've taken them? The tracks led that way, so either New Light or First Light. Or Faden, or... Uh, the two of them are basically one. For New Light is um, a border town on the edges of the ruined metropolis. They could go through Briarcrest, they could go through Faden, any of these places. They want to travel through villages, but if they're carrying children with them, they probably camp out in, out in the nature, so they're less Keep likely out to the be main found. Roads, yeah. This artifact comes from First Light and First Light only. That sounds like that's where they've gone. I... The High Priest has decided that I must remain within the city. Yeah, we heard about that. Ah. Do you have to obey? Yes, it is my sworn sworn oath to follow my faith, and whilst I greatly wish to help these children, what angers me most is that the High Priest makes sense. If the Broken Sky were to attack especially this temple, there are very few that can defend it. We have priests, we have healers, Warriors, there are only a few, me and a handful of squires. I am the most powerful among them. I want to go with you. These children, I feel, are my responsibility, but I also cannot completely forswear my oaths, both to my lord and to this temple, to this place that raised me. We get it. It's fine. Will you go? Yes. By Avenger, we will go, of course. Well, they're little I lightborn can... children. I'm not a huge fan of your strange coin-obsessed buxom woman god, but yes, that is enough. I know that you hold her in high regard, if nothing else. It's not very nice. Well, I don't say that about your dragon. <laughs> 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 Perhaps if um, certain goddesses spent more time caring for the needy than um, caring about coin and trade and things like that, then... Or maybe if you could them. I have a chinchilla! <laughs> oh, you found one then? I was just saying it because, like, I, I, I'm kind of starting to recognize human things now, and I get that this is like some weird, sexy argument. So I'm just like trying to break the tension in the only way I know how. She's like, "Well, I can provide if I have money if you need horses, supplies, but I have to stay here." And she kind of like slams her hand against the wall. You know, we will do our utmost. I know to the death. I know you will. To Don't get yourselves killed. If it's looking bad, come back and I will go. If it's if it needs me, if there is some great evil at work, I will come. We're a strong unit. I know. Um, That's why I'm trusting you to do this. It's okay, Cass. Cheer up. Look, and I'm going to shine the light in my face. Ah, I'm light born too. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> you are perhaps one of the most ridiculous men I have ever met. Oh, come on. Along with Cam Buckland. There's a silver lining here. Yes. You don't have to travel with him. That is a good silver lining. Although I will miss being able to teach him the proper ways of our good lord. Yep. Which we'll keep I'm him definitely alive. Definitely following still. We'll keep him alive so you can continue. You. She looks at Reynard. It's like, there will come a day when things look bleak, when you are dying, what? and certain paladins <laughs> heal you. Very close. Twice. <laughs> yes. And you will remember that it is the Platinum Dragon who will watch over you. As I did when the snake man almost killed you. Yep. And hey, perhaps you should consider such faith more seriously. I mean, I've still got the book and stuff, so. Read it. 
Oh, it's a log. Yes, well, you'll have plenty of time on the road. Um, where's Lady Laura? She is with um, the dragon lady. Don't s- Please keep that quiet. Well, we're not. Korak has let me know about that, but nobody else, even the high priest, doesn't know about that. Let's keep it that Lady way. A. Lady Amarillith is fine. She is with Elora. Elora doing okay. something about okay. finding something. All right, well, I am retreating to my quarters to. Well, actually, no, I'm going to go find some training dummies and beat the living shit out of something. Um, you know where to find me if you Can need you do me. that to Korak? I don't want to. He beat he beat bested me two out of three times. Yesterday. I heard his like jaw is weak. If you aim for that, his so, massive dragon born jaw. Yeah, that he can breathe fire from. That's a challenge from me to you. Try and dislocate it so we can't talk. I'm not going to try and dislocate Korak's jaw. Why not? We spar. We don't beat each other up. Just a thought. Why is, why don't you like Korak all of a sudden? <laughs> Korak's fine. Okay, I'm going to storm off. <laughs> Why does he always do that? <laughs> um, Miss Jing, keep an eye on him. I, well, no, th- these creatures have taken Lightborn children for a reason. Cam's one of the few adult Lightborn I know, and I don't know what they'll do if they find that out. You have my oath. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go find something to beat up. Have fun. And she heads off. Right, well, I think we're going to wrap up about there. Um, I think the, the omens for poor Laura and the beginning of a new adventure is a good place to stop. Thank you all for watching so far. We're going to read some donations. I think I need to get the... Can you put them on the screen, Steve? Steve. On the screen? Steve. What? Dragon Thank across. you. All. We're going to read them on there. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Can like, you give me the actual letter that I didn't fully get? Last time, from you didn't give me I didn't actually write a letter. I kind of gave you the sum up of like okay. what it talked about. TLDR. Um, no, I didn't. TLDR, I didn't write one, love sorry. you. You didn't. Well, it's also me. he didn't. Yeah, he didn't like really <laughs> have anything like that to say. So it's a field report. It was a field report, basically. Aww. Didn't have any love hearts. Um, I can remind you what it said. No, no, it's fine. I know what it said. Okay. I was just wondering if there what actually was one because you said you'd get it to me. Uh, uh, yeah, I kind of didn't have time to do that. So that's fine. DM being prepared. I've got two D&D sure. strings to run a week now. I was making sure there wasn't one. Okay, so uh, we're going to read some donations if there are any. Ooh, Thank you, Steve. Go. Let's go this way this time. Let's do one each. We'll do it around. Bam Goes TNT, donated. For all those who can't donate but want to, this one's yours. We love you, High Rollers. Thank you, Bam Goes TNT. Bam. Bit. I have a night shard tonight every time. Every time. Yep. Uh, yeah, every Bam does. Night shard has donated <laughs> with... Hey, oh, Nightjar, every time. Lovely. Uh, can't see the next one. Yeah, we need to read those two, Steve. Okay. Oh, sorry. Thanks, Steve. We are switching over to a different donation reading system in the meantime. In the meantime. Mark is going to sing you a little ditty. Dope. Uh, so. I want to lay <laughs> you down on a bed of roses. <laughs> what? That's the one that came. I, yeah, I don't know. I just had Bon Jovi in my mind. Because I'm wanted, wanted, dead or alive, on a steel horse I ride. So I actually, that is a pretty good song. Wanted, dead or alive is a killer song. We're here. <laughs> wanted. They just don't make songs like that anymore. No, I'm sad. I'm sad that hair metal isn't a thing really anymore. We can bring it back. Yeah, yeah, just like all the outfits, like denim little jackets yeah. with like the ripped sleeves. Yeah, darkness are in Bristol next week. Thank you, yeah. Steve. Uh, uh, Pixie, MLG gamer, donated. Good day, high rollers. Pixie Good here. Day. Oi, I got a job for you. I need you to tell that tosser, tro- to- tell oh. that tosser Toffolo <laughs> that he missed the last line of my donation message on Friday. The line was Troot, That beard. Magnificent. Is yeah. it magnificent? Don't look at it close up. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Pixie. But thank you. Thank, thank you, Pixie. Pixie. Thank you. Um, I Sena Sakura has donated. Hey, Roller. On 4th of September, I donated and I talked about bullying in school that I'm... Talked about my bullying in school and that I'm going to high school and you gave me awesome support I'm doing well now, and I feel like I can be who I am. So I wanted to say thank you That's so awesome to hear awesome. good for you. Thank be you so much for letting us know be you Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them uh, Okay, next we got movies man 8 donated saying Jutao 
is one to fear. Alora is a princess with class. Cam is only here for the occasional tiddy and ass. It's <laughs> kind of true. And Raynard was last pick. <laughs> <laughs> Raynard wasn't even in that donation. Let's be honest. <laughs> Justice for Hazel. Uh, Ron Rapara donated with just HR Prime. I like that. High Rollers Prime. That's HR what this stream's called. HR Prime. HR yeah. Prime. Uh, Tekiri has donated saying, Hi guys, can't be around today as I'm travelling back home. I hope tonight went well and keep on rolling, 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 rolling. Roll Thank you very much, yeah. Tekiri. Tekiri. Very generous too. Thank yeah, you. very generous. Uh, Mechapix donated. Quarter uh, hundo. Quarter oh, hundo. Uh, can't catch the stream due to my DMing my own game, uh. but wanted to, to donate. Thank you for bringing us such great entertainment. You've inspired me to try and make D&D a bigger part of my life. So Aww. to help with playing characters, I'm auditioning in a local play. Oh, yeah. nice. Awesome. Acting is a big help. Yeah. Yeah. In, improv especially will help, but just acting kind of helps you get over that playing up silly NPCs yeah. thing. Um, Blaine Kerrigan has donated and just says love for Reynard. Thank you. Me, it's me. Hashtag justice for Hazel. <laughs> James said three. Hello, hi, ah. Rollers crew. You guys are fantastic to watch and I love watching you guys every week. Is there a new PO box address yet so I can send in my DMs guide for you guys to sign? Thanks. Also, Mark, will they ever fight a dragon again? Thanks. If you were to send it to the PO box, make sure you put the Yogg's cast on it because it is going to the but new remember, Yeah, it, it does get redirected, but if you don't want to risk it, I would say wait because we there will be once things yet. are all settled. Turtle yeah. will arrange I, a new... Especially because that's a DM's guide. I, I, I would say yeah. wait. So just yeah. wait. It'll probably be... Jane will post it on social media once we're allowed to do that yes. and stuff like yeah. that. Um, will they ever fight a dragon again? <laughs> what do you think? Next donation. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Marachime donated. Hi, Rollers. Can't watch Test Stream live this week as after a two-week power binge, I'm at episode 45. Oh, my God. Aww. But I wanted to give you guys a little something to thank Good you for all, so close. especially Mark, for introducing me to D&D. Love to everyone. P.S. Paint Lickers Assembled. My, my, my stream bros, Marachime's always in there watching me lick paint. I was you do that a lot. What? It's just it's weird. Habit. It's not weird. It is weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Nightjar has donated again. Again. Thank and you. And then party popper. Keep the keep the STFU. <laughs> Some more pennies towards the party popper fund. We need party poppers no, for every natural twenty. We really also, maybe don't. for every crit fail. Just no. more party poppers in general. Hearts. No, I agree. Yes, we had to clean that shit up last it time. It didn't get no. like five minutes. Fine. Fine. Uh, totally Lightning fine. underscore underscore wolf. Uh, another great scream. Another scream. Another great scream. Another great scream. Another great scream. Read from there. Okay. Another scream. great stream, guy. Keep up the great work. Oh, Katie, I made a nice pair of earrings. I don't know if you saw the tweet Ooh. or not. I will have a look. I have not been paying attention to Twitter other than High Rollers today, but uh, I am. I don't have my ears pierced, so earrings are a bit lost on me. Yeah, I bought her earrings for her birthday. Love Bam. wasted. Continue, <laughs> Katie. Oh, uh, Miss Fluffy Kitty has donated. Won't be able to stick around to watch the whole stream, but here's a little something for just being awesome week after week. Man, thank, thank you, very you much. so much. Crazy Koala. Hey, hi, Rollers. My first time catching what? it live for quite some time. Hope for no character deaths and good tidings all round. Thank you for sharing the game with all of us every week and making everyone's Sundays and Fridays that much better. Hey. That's right. If you missed it on Friday, we do a brand new sponsored wizard stream called Uncharted Territories with brand new characters. All, all it's a two based hour around stream. the new Tomb of Annihilation. Um, and the VOD will be on Yogg's live soon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yes. Joshua Lee Galeas. Galea? Uh, hi guys, I've been watching High Rollers on Yogg's Live for six to seven months. When I started, there was 43 episodes and soon became 50. I've been loving High Rollers from episode one and still am. I can't believe I finally caught up. It's been so long. Yeah. Joshua, a great credit to you for catching up on all of that content because that yes. is a lot of stuff. It's like 150 lot. hours now. Yeah, it's nuts. It's nuts. Uh, Unicorn Bob, thank you for the donation. You guys are all amazing, apart from Tom. Uh, <laughs> doesn't say that. He doesn't, doesn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Much love. Barris, Muck, and Nicknack should take uh, should party to take down the Broken Sky. <laughs> yeah. Who says the they're not a part, part of the Broken Sky? Yeah. Oh, what? That's a big with. betrayal. Barris is the big bad. At the and end. Muck, Muck, Tuck, Tuck, Nicknack. Go for it. Ron anyway. Rapara donated. Hey, what's happening to the Toral version of Juto? Is the success of the group from the Waterdeep Historical Society going to determine if Kim has to roll a new character for the next alternate universe one-off? So I Actually, think that's referring to the Christmas special 
Oh, the Christmas one? No, it no, it's the Christmas. curse. No, yeah, the curse. And, um, She's saying if Friday. Juto was in oh, the... Well, Juto. We didn't answer this on Friday, because yeah. I brought it up, and yeah. you were like, they're not in the same universe. Not, not in the same, same universe. universe. Yeah. Totally. Um, Hamish has donated, saying, just have a great day, all of you. You deserve it. Thank you very Thank much, you. Hamish. <laughs> Made better with messages like that. Uh, yes. Next one, Brandwin. Oh, 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 oh. It's a half-hundo. Half Thank you, Brandwin. Can't watch live yet again, but as I've actually got some money to spend for once, I decided to finally subscribe and just want to let you know how much you and the rest of yours cast have meant for me for several years now. Little cute cat, teary face, keep rolling high. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brandwen. Thank you very much for your very generous Thank you donation. Thank you. Uh, it's Tucker2025. Hey all, Kim, I hope you're feeling much better health-wise. I tweeted you a cute chinchilla. I saw it. Mark, are you on paint looking tomorrow? I'm enjoying the two lots of high rollers per week now. Keep up the awesome. I will be streaming over on table on twitch.tv forward slash tabletop weekly tomorrow evening doing some more painting. Den streams. Mm. Oh. Um, Zephry012 donated. Hey Rollers, just got back from running the first session of my own campaign and I'm already regretting a player's ideas. <laughs> it's a tavern brawler melee warlock with a charisma of 12 and he's already had four near-death experiences. Wow. So, what's a merciful DM to do? Just let like the guy keep playing his character. Like, if that's what he wants to play, that's what you let him play. If you really want to be nice, if you really want to be nice, Maybe drop in a plus charisma item at some point in the future, but fully expect one of the other party members to take it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's going to happen. TSG donated a uh, hey, so lovely high rollers, great stream, as always, missed donating in Friday's Uncharted stream, so here is a donation for both. Hey. Uh, Kim, you should defiantly name your new chin chin look, Noodles. Noodles! The second person to suggest Noodles. Noodles! He's way like, cuter than Cam. I remember that yeah, you, you, your current new one is much cuter. The reason you called the other one Cam was because it was ugly. That's true. Yeah. But Cam um, gave it to me. So. Oh, I see. So you're kind of being nice. Q Pixel Streams has donated, saying was going to donate three dollars fifteen with a message about having a nickel for every episode. But that poor chinchilla. Damn it, Mark. Wish I could say more. Well, I can't typically donate money, so I'll donate multitudes of fan art on Tumblr. Nice, affordable fan art. Love <laughs> fan art. That's always good. Thank you very much. Please, please just don't, spread it and don't just spread draw any of the chinchilla, please. The, the dead chinchilla. Like, what did you think the hell? would happen? I when you're being crushed for like mind. a load of I damage... Just thought, I should have shut him up it? and hoped that you forgot about him. I probably would. You should, yeah, you probably would have. <laughs> TSG donated again, again with a hundo. So that's wow. 150. That's nuts. As a question for Friday, how did you enjoy playing different characters compared to your current characters? Sorry, Tom. Hashtag Justice for Hazel. How did you feel? Justice for Hassel. I felt great. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it, it was yeah. quite. It was quite nice not being good. <laughs> Hi. It was nice. Not being nice. Being, not being nice. Uh, yeah. I like having a very, very specific theme for a character. Like, yeah. I'm a cat person, I do cat things. Yeah. yeah. I, like, yeah. I like being outrageous and just winding everyone up. It's yeah. just like, Kim yeah. 2.0, really. Kim with an extra horniness. Yeah. It's, it's like, <laughs> not much more. It's like <laughs> Kim in everyday life, but amped up and in a D&D &D setting. And also, like, just... Towards me, anyway. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I think different. the word is inappropriate. Yeah. 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 But it's kind of you anyway. Maybe. I'm probably going to get in trouble by the end of these 10 <laughs> yeah, weeks. I imagine so, so. Yeah, I imagine so. So look forward by to Greg. that. By Greg. Greg's going to... Carry on, Marcus. Greg's going to be mad. Vexus the Untamed donated. Next episode, we better get some good Juto and Camchilla RP <laughs> action. By the way, I really loved that first episode of Uncharted Territories you did. You all did such a great job. And everyone's characters are incredible, especially yours, Kim. Wink. Yeah, there I'm we go. Be in a lot of trouble by week ten. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think so. I think you're fine. Uh, Lojack twenty two. <laughs> I just love that I managed to gross you out a little bit. Yeah. It was so, just more like I'm uncomfortable. This is not a kind of character. Like if it was a different character, it'd be a lot easier to deal with. Like the gnome pirate captain can yeah. like give it back a bit. Um, but yeah, it's just like. I don't know. I'm in this character. I'm in this NPC skin, and she's uncomfortable, yeah. and that makes Mark a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> That's fair enough. It's a real reaction. Um, yeah. Lojack22. Uh, hello, everyone. Just finished binge, uh, binging from episode one in time wow. for Uncharted Territory. Wow. Thanks all for the hours of entertainment. So many hours. What am I doing with my life? You're improving it, my friend. Enhancing it with, <laughs> it with inspiration. D &D. Yeah. Uh, generic Evil Genius donated. Hi guys, I'm having trouble preparing to DM a marathon D&D &D oh, session next hard. weekend. A few friends and I have rented a cabin oh, in the nice. woods wow. where we'll shut ourselves off nice. from the world and do nothing but play tabletop games for three days. Wish me luck. That, that sounds, sounds amazing. That sounds cool. Like the best we do that. Week. 
Maybe make when a load of... When do we have time of... to do that? Maybe? Yeah, when do we ever... Saturday is currently the only day I don't do anything. Anything, exactly. So. And they're getting booked up. Yeah. <laughs> maybe if we... Well, I'm going to go to a cabin in the woods of my own, and you if you guys want to try to have <laughs> Sweet. Uh, whose go is it? Casey's. Mm. Yeah. Shiny Fingers has donated. Would any of the player characters or NPCs have any advice for PhD thesis writing? <laughs> On writing, not driving yourself daft or anything else. Advice from actual people is welcome too. Also, Mark, what did you think of Rat Queens right. if you got it? I couldn't. Well, I, I, the NPCs can't give you advice because Mark can't give you advice because Mark knows nothing about PhD thesis Cam can writing. Can give you some advice. Oh, God. Um, I'll leave that to you. Uh, I freaking love Rat Queens. I've got both. I bought the first two volumes. I think it's great. I love Curtis Vieb. Um, uh, yeah, uh, love it. It's good. For your thesis writing, I don't know what the my subject favorite. matter is at all. However, the best way is to not finish a paragraph so that you have something to think about to finish that paragraph and then continue onwards. If you finish a paragraph, that's kind of like a full stop. Should you yeah. also answer every, end every, every paragraph with a question Hell so no. that like it sounds smart? No! Like, but is that really the answer? And the universe and then you start new... <laughs> is definitely infinite. <laughs> <laughs> that just makes it Australian. <laughs> infinite? You know what I mean, Is right? the universe <laughs> infinite? And then that sounds smart. It's your, it's your go. Donation. It's my go. Metamanu donated a quarter hundo. Wow. Can't watch the end of the stream. My internet is bit derping big time. No. Praise be to the new chinchilla. Keep it safe, Juto. Oh, okay. You better do. Marku? Marku. Mark. <laughs> no, I've read mine. No, no, I just did one. Like. Chris just did one. Yeah. I just did one. <laughs> Hello, high rollers. This will be the first of ten instalments to reach wow. an amount of having wow. donated five pounds for every episode. Oh my god. Wow. That, that'll be 250 pounds, by the way. Oh what? my goodness. That's In nuts. case you were wondering, I sadly wasn't able to watch live today, but shall hopefully be here next week. That's very kind, bro. Very generous. Wow. Thank you very crap. much. Uh, Ace of Thorns has donated, going, Mark, you're such a meanie. I'm not. Yeah. I neutrally run the world. Yeah. The chinchilla Tim, in a pocket. Tim Winch uh, donated with just a heart sign. Thank you very Thank you. much. Uh, Daft Dave Forty One has donated, saying, "Brilliant! This had it all. Snake men and snake arms. Cam snake trying arms. to heal Dermot's tiredness. Juto trying to hug Cam. Best of all was Lightborn Reynard, though. <laughs> 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 just putting it out there. I reckon Juto's chinchilla is going to be like Tiddles from Flux Buddies. So um, for those who don't get that reference, Tiddles was." Duncan's cat and flux bodies and it just died and died oh, yeah. and died and died. <laughs> Chris Trot. Uh, Kim Tin Winch. Donate it again. I was gonna ask him a question. Uh, okay. oh. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say, what noise does a chinchilla being squashed by snake man make when all its guts come out of its mouth? Uh, it would be a lot. <laughs> 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 Donating again just for Mark's singing lol. Do us another mark. Um, like one living on a prayer. <laughs> bon Jovi, yeah. take my day. hand. You get this one. Make it, I swear. Whoa, awkward dog burner. <laughs> this week's burner rating: Lightborn Fleshlight out of twenty. <laughs> Quick, drink its magical liquid. Raging hard on moment. Play with my oh, cute hairy chinchilla. <laughs> it's sensitive. <laughs> Ejection, reject, erection, rejection moment. Please, Cam, put your dark repulsive blade away from Lady <laughs> Amy. Hashtag bone on That was a good oh, one. Oh, good lord. Nice. Good I knew job. that chinchilla thing was going to go. Why did you have to ruin it by like, making it weird? I was being innocent and nice. <laughs> That's what they do. That's what I do. It's your turn. Chalificate says, oh no, I fell asleep just before the start of the stream and missed it. Oh, well, I'll start watching it now. Will I be up for any surprises? There's a few. Mm, yeah. Maybe. Mm, yeah. Maybe. Oh my god, yes. Some story reveals. Uh, Nightjar donated again. Can we get some tiny armor made huh. for Cam Chilla the Second, please? Yes. 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 Cam Chilla the Second. Yes. Maybe like a tiny crown as well. Anti crush armor. armor. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, Laura drew craft a tiny flower crown and put it on his. Yes. Uh, yeah. Kev Tim Winch. Again. Third donation. I feel like I should change my donation name to make it easier for you lot to read. Kev Tim Winch. I, know. I feel like you enjoy us mispronouncing your name. <laughs> yeah. And the final one, Angelus Lucis, 
donated saying, hey, Roll, it's been a while since I dropped a donation, so here you go. Great Thank episode. You. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very generous. Thank you very much to everybody who donated. And just and watched. Everybody and who just watched. watched as well. And um, everybody who will watch on the VOD. Hi, VOD people. Yes. Yeah. And also, so a couple of things. Don't Board forget, people. Uncharted Territory, back on Friday, 8 p.m. BST. or it's only episode 2. p.m. PDT. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be episode 2. It will be out on Yorks Live. Please tell people it'll be on Yogs Live and save poor Katie <laughs> from going mad on Twitter. Um, get off! They uh, will be live whenever Sam has time to do, time to do so. it. We are not personally in control of that. Steve says this week. Uh, I'll be doing it. Oh, Steve's, Steve's doing it this week, so it'll so be whenever Steve whenever has time. Whenever Steve to do it. has time. They're so very busy people. The other thing is, please don't forget our survey about High Rollers Live yes. here in the UK. Make, it happen. Make sure you fill says. that out. It's on our Twitter. You can check that out. Um, and we will see you on Friday for Uncharted Territory. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. See Until you guys 10. then. Take care. Farewell. Bye. Bye.